hopefully things are going well and not super busy. We are not having caffeine for the stream today. I feel like I've been having too much caffeine lately, so I've opted for a tea. Mm -hmm. But we are continuing the uh, that Jody Arias case. I've decided that if we end up getting through the video, which to be fair, it's kind of a long video, I'm going to switch over to Casey Anthony, because I don't know why. I just feel like I want to dive more into that like cesspool of a case. But that's the plans for today. Not sure how long we'll be live, just because I'm super sore. I've been going too fucking ham in the gym, I think, and my whole body aches. So, <laughs> oops. All right, I think this is where we're at. I think we're around the 11 or 12 minute mark. I think. Everybody's pointing. And I think this is what? This is after she... Oh. Uh... Mm, it could be. Dance, hello, hello. How you doing, lad? Let me... Ooh. Um... Yes. Yes. Actually, I think you might be right. The audio might be kind of kind of fucky. Hold on a second. Let's see why I have... Okay, we're going to mute that, and then we'll mute that. And then this should sound better. I have no idea why there's two other mics. All right. Let me know if uh, that fixed it. Since I should only have two audio sources. I've been fucking with OBS, though, so it's good? Okay. Yeah, it almost looks like my voice was mirroring. I think that's what it was. But uh, hopefully it's good. I don't know if it's doing that on any other, like, fucking, what do they call them? Scenes? any other OBS scenes. So if it does behave weird, just let me know. Because I think it should be good. Yes. And then we'll expand my chat. Perfect. Awesome. All right. I think this is where we were at. I think we were just diving into her having a lot of filler talk. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> It's nice to see you, but also, you gotta already be testing Automod on me, eh? Sheesh. Thank you for the serotonin, by the way. You, you know, everybody is saying, I don't... Do you know what I find out? I found out that if you take SSRIs with, like, different types of opiates, you can get, like, this, like, fucked up... What, what, what was it? like a serotonin disorder or something because you can like a double release and it can be like really harmful on you. I didn't know that could happen. I don't understand what happened to Travis. I don't know who killed him. But you need to look at Jody. I'm gonna make it interesting. I've said high it's enough trying to spice it up. Oh yeah, spice it up, but also simultaneously right. test auto mod. One of the most fascinating parts of this interrogation is how long the detective allows Jody to cling on to hope. For the first 45 minutes, she will be terrified, yet still believe there's- Yeah, I was gonna say, she kind of seems like she bullshits for a very large portion of this interview. I'm convinced that some interviewers must just, like, enjoy toying with people a little bit, or at the very least, maybe trying to allow the smidge of hope and not, like, letting her in on what they know to see if she can really walk herself into a deep corner. You know what I mean? There's a chance she will be going home at the end of it. The detective will hint at her suspicions and culpability in a gradual manner, yet not directly accuse her until a much later stage. Dangling the idea of hope above someone's head while simultaneously hinting at the grim future that awaits them would perhaps be considered cruel in most other circumstances. Yet on this occasion, it is tolerated for attack. I think you can be cruel to somebody who is capable of a much greater cruelty. ...tactical purpose, which is to allow for as much divulgence from the suspect as possible. Her fear will cause her to panic. You know what I mean? 
One of these days, Autumn is just gonna knock on the door to my house and like. <laughs> Not enough to the point where she completely locks up, but just <laughs> enough so that too she far. tries to claw at her own salvation, and in the process will divulge information that. I will still be find it hilarious. I was getting her confused on. with Casey and Anthony. The I started looking at you a little bit closer, and over the last month or so, I've. Alludian, thank you so much for the follow. It is much appreciated. That sounds like a familiar username, though. I feel like I've heard something similar before. Hmm. But, thank you. It is much appreciated, lad. How are you today? There's a degree of cruelty you can reach before someone breaks apart or closes off. This is why torture isn't reliable. Right! You have to be very, very keen on, I guess, that type of human psychology, eh? Oh, understandable. I get you, Superior. Although, hopefully it's fun remodeling the family house. Hopefully you have a good time. What, what bits are you- or, me starting a conversation when you're going to be busy. How about you update me later when you have resolved the remodeling? I got a really good understanding of who he is now. And I got- Bacon. Uh... All my ex-boyfriends are alive is not a sentence spoken, if true. Some of the one-liners from these interviews are gold. I honestly love that. There we go. I got it, Bacon. I got it. Yeah, that's what I thought, Aludin. I could have sworn. <laughs> Anyways, nice to see ya. How's it going? very good understanding of your relationship with him. Obviously, you weren't boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. Right, you were a crazy you were stalker. Having a sexual relationship. You were fucking, yeah. Which, Does his family know about that? Dude, I love this part. I, I could have sworn that we've got... I love how she's like, but... Does his family know? It's like, I yeah. Crazy, for real. I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing pretty good. Especially for a fucking Mormon, dude. I, It's always, you know, I'm convinced it's always, like, people with, like, high religion and, like, keeping religion dear to them that make them feel like they need to then, like, contradict some of those own principles they forced on themselves. Just curious. No, his family doesn't know anything. Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm interested in protecting his, how he's remembered as well, and... Just for the purpose... Oh, Dan's had a date? Okay, almost had... Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. Had a date. The bitch poked holes in the emergency condom while I left my wallet at the bar. Why? 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 You know... How'd you find out? How'd that go? I feel like there's more to this story. Of integrated context. At Jody's trial, she would label Travis a sexual deviant, a domestic abuser, and a pedophile. He... Yeah, that that's definitely to keep it mild, right? Aren't there age because of religion? They don't drink in there. Dude. He truly had feelings for you. Yeah. Sometimes, I, I'm just convinced people just need to figure out how to just, like, I don't know. Find your vice, find your healthy vice, and go with it, you know? That's a little too much coffee, live your life. You masturbate a little too much? Sure. Like, come on. Find something. I had a piss off all because I knew the barman and he told me, oh, healthy vice. Ah, uh, yes. I had to clarify, right? There's vices that's like, I'm gonna do cocaine. And then there's vices like, I like spending $5 on a coffee every day. You know what I mean? There's, like, really bad vices. And then there's, like, you can live with it. You know, you can live with it. Like, it's fine. <sighs> yeah, so, yeah. Definitely levels. You know what I'm saying? Ben likes broccoli. Hello, hello. Oh, my God, Jody. <laughs> Yes, not vice pleasures. I would have fixed her. Oh, if only, if only. 
But yeah. What's, oh my god, I can't fucking believe... So, to ask, to ask more questions on the poking holes in the condom, was the intent to want the condom to break and or, like, insemination? Or was the point to be like, oh, I guess we can't bone because you don't have a good condom? You see what I'm saying? Oh, lord. Uh, wouldn't it be a deal breaker for someone who knows another one? <laughs> right, yeah. I don't know. I never thought there was such insane fucking women out there. Um, but I'm sheltered. So, you know. Hope you're happy right now. I wish I could have. <laughs> uh, sounds like a breeding king wanted the bodily fluid. Dude, have you ever, have you guys ever been on fucking, like, the reddits with, with pe people who have the breeder kinks? The fucking, all of it's atrocious. It's just a lot for me. I didn't intend to take her home, so I'll never know her reaction. Oh, okay. I, I was just wondering if it was like a, oh god. Uh, then it turns into a Casey Anthony case. Yeah, uh, for some reason. Felt that the relationship is she? There's no way she has to be like in her thirties. And I assume that's probably maybe the same way you felt about him, or it's probably... maybe you did not. He just wanted to screw, and you were so blissfully. <sighs> Dumb that you thought that somehow getting dicked down would mean that he would want to make it an actual real thing with you again. No, entrapment most likely. Maybe she was pregnant and needed- Oh lord, dance. Oh lord. These bits hit harder if you've interrogated yourself. Ben, that sounds like a story. That sounds like a story. How have you been interrogated? I understand why he didn't believe it was healthy. No, I, I didn't think it was healthy either, spiritually at least, and probably emotionally. But my I love her answer too. It definitely wasn't good spiritually, emotionally, um, but we still did it. Like, I have. It's a mystery. Okay, I'll take that. If I had a day in the day trying to do anything to a condom we were going to use, I was going to be like, if you don't want to be respected, there are easier. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't think of any reason to pop holes in a condom. Especially because it would be so fucking obvious. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't you know as soon as you have, like, try to put it on? Right? It's not a nice experience. I wouldn't. I would not imagine it would be so. Spiritually, and I think that kind of once you have something that's not healthy spiritually, it filters through all aspects of your life. And you Her still did it. From and you still did it. My thing is, even though they weren't dating, they literally documented the whole fucking process of them screwing too. Not only did you guys screw, like everyone knew about it, and you took pictures of each other, spicy pictures. So. She's the same as Amber Turd, for real, for real. Pregnant with under undesirable baby daddy, so himself that dudes across your fingers from her to land. It is an issue, eh? It is an issue. Ah, God. What the? Dance, maybe you should just stick with men. Wouldn't that be a little easier? You seem to have bad luck with ladies. Pretty girl using pet pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Narcissists like to talk. Let them bury themselves in life. She's saving ten. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's what I'm imagining. That's exactly why they're just letting her fucking go Work off history, in this. And then to her finances before moving on to her family. Bear in like, mind she like, wasn't asked about any of this. Yeah, like who cares? Actually, I wasn't doing well. I missed my family. I moved away um, shortly after high school, and I come back to visit, but I realize over the years I've missed out on a lot. Oh, okay. We're doing a little bit of a backtrack then. Missed out on just stuff. Uh, oh my god, it is so sad. What does that even mean, bro? Nothing happened to him. <laughs> yeah, but I also have inferiority. Yeah, see, that's my type of balance, right? I both have 
It's like, I have a god complex and I hate myself, you know? I have a god complex, but also I should be, like, the lowest, like, basis of human being. You gotta, you know, pros and cons. <laughs> pros and cons. You gotta have both, right? It's like, I both think I'm better than everybody, and also I am the basis, bottom line. <laughs> You, you stay grounded. That's how you stay the grounded. He nudges her back to the subject of Travis once more. He asks if the sexual element combined with his religion was the reason the relationship didn't work. Jody then takes it upon herself to recount her sex life history and simultaneously preach about her own mm. devotion to the Bible. Maybe, maybe you do attract crazy dance. Maybe that's how it is. I don't know. I, hmm. I guess it would depend on how you meet people, too, right? Relationships were, like, healthy. It was a answer. Right? 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 And I've had Three stepbrothers growing. Two brothers and stepbrothers growing. Oh, and Constant competing? Oh, that. The deaf fucking bro energy? I hear that. I hear you. I'm silly, but I used to always joke that, um regardless of what the bible says and yes i'm christian i just live my life by the ten commandments and that's my those are my rules <laughs> oh yeah I, we heard this because i was like so thou shalt not kill you ain't a bro ah i feel like i'm more of a bro than anything else realize you know nothing will leave one with the feeling of an emasculated god okay literally <laughs> what the fuck uh Ben! <laughs> Hold on. Uh. But yeah, I would agree with that, Iron. I would agree with that. It's like the concept, right, that highly intelligent people are usually also the most oppressed. Huh. I'm gonna say deny only because I feel like if I approved that later on... I might get some weird shit in my chat. You know what I mean? It's like a balance. My imposter syndrome has imposter syndrome, and then I realized that I could be a Kanye. And finally, <laughs> I found balance. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, yes, the fucking tweet. What, what was it? If I could have a best friend, like, I'm my own best friend. If I could, like, what did he say? Some shit like, if I could marry someone, I'd marry myself. I am my own best friend. Like, that type of shit. Like... <laughs> bro thou shalt not kill unless it's for the vine exactly thou shalt not kill like unless it's good for the pictures you know thou shalt not this or that but it doesn't say thou that shalt so I just, I just thou shalt that. not murder we bro pray about it. I remember we knelt by his bed once and um Surprisingly, he suggested it. You're telling me there's not sociopaths where you're at? Come on now. Before we go on a trip or yeah. before we eat, if we're alone. That was kind of unusual for him, huh? Yeah, because he was very resistant to prayer. He's like, so I'd say, will you say prayer? He's like, Ooh, why don't you, say prayer? you know how we're slowly um, painting him to be like, so we'd go back and I'm such a Joe, good person, prayer? but sure. he's not. And I know he like, says he's Mormon, but he never prays. He's really resistant to religion. I'm a Christian, but like, I'm not uptight, you know what I mean? I'm a fun Christian. <laughs> That's what she fucking sounds like. He needed to kind of Nothing as iconic as Connie's interview. Mm -hmm. Who do you yeah, think you are? Who do I think I am? I told you. Okay. See, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I do. Is a sin. Premarital sex is a day. sin. Were they okay. ever married? Okay. Nope. Bacon? Not he at all. Up. He actually proposed to me a lot no. of times, but he wasn't serious. Um, Let's move to after the breakup. When oh, okay. he proposes to you, but it's a so, joke. Um, what kept you in Mesa? <laughs> Uh, I actually moved to Mesa a few weeks after we broke up. Really? Mm-hmm. I and mean, then it was a time period you really wasn't seeing anybody. What a fucking and weirdo. To the picture. She um, definitely gives me that energy, her. though, like, uh... I didn't know a lot about her. She seems like a What's nice that one game Facebook, that never got into you know, development? I mean, the type of, like, chicks that are, like, um, stalking their, like, school crush, and then some girl talks to him, sure so why, then she just, like, fucking murders him? I'm pretty sure that she could be it. Mm -hmm. And I was happy for him. Um, I didn't yeah, know wouldn't it be? This conversation you had face-to-face -face with him? Yeah, or? yeah, it was in okay. his room. 
Um, and he had his laptop, you know, just on his bed. Um, hey. Jody is desperately trying to make it appear as though her and Travis what were What the on fuck, terms, my tea? This is just the over bag. Jody was Detached labeled a crazy stalker ex by all of Travis's friends and even Disgusting. Travis himself. The idea that he would show and then discuss any potential future romances Fucking with Jody is ridiculous. Go inside. That's what she said. Got him. Oh, he does. He does. Travis had, had a, I'm sorry. He's what you call a player. You know what that means. Yeah. yeah. He, he kind of. Why would a married Jody? She'd be happy right now. Yeah, Maybe. A, if he was a Mormon with a stick in his back, guarantee that they only did oral. And truly, Imagine. He didn't think that you were marriage material. Oh my god, and dance the I savagery. I mean, I see you. Yes, you know, yonder a simulator. Girl. That's the vibes that she gets. That's the vibes I'm getting, you know? To, to make your way through life. And I don't see why the, if I can't thing. have you, nobody I can. Think we're just, we have we have very different philosophies in a lot of ways. Um, we would argue about the dumbest things, and like there were so many times I just couldn't wrap my mind around what he would. I could, but but I would try to get him to do the same for me. Like there was a time when I broke down on the way to LA once, and my empathy my car had a flat tire. So I had at the time roadside assistance because my car was. Still it's a failure of a game. And they pulled, they went to take the car and to change the tire and realized. I watched that whole fucking like Yandere simulator like um, documentary on YouTube about like all the fucking spinoffs that happened. I don't know how every single one was a. Um, and the tow truck guy Just, said, you know, there's a Denny's two blocks down I almost want to say, like, a tragic masterpiece, you know what I mean? I hop around, because I really like I hop. He's like, yeah, but it's kind of like five miles back in the other direction. I was like, yeah, okay. He's like, I can drive you there if you want. Kinky. And I was like, he's like this short Mexican guy, and he seemed really harmless, and I was like, uh, okay. And he, you know, and I asked him about his life, and he had a wife and kids and so he wasn't flirting the travels of jody okay. and a sweet mexican continues on for another <laughs> two minutes the detective then brings jody's attention to what he already believes was the trigger motive for the movie. jody and so, you know moving over to sounds like a kid's book his trip to cancun that he was going to um, right and you weren't invited did you first find out about that that he was going with me oh i didn't find i found out about that at his memorial services Mm-hmm. It was the Monday Night Memorial Service. You didn't yeah. know he was taking Mimi? I didn't know that. I think that's awesome, actually. Right. Yeah. Um, well, unfortunately, Mimi had... I mean, she was so excited about it. Before. That's been doing it for, like, seven or so years, and there's still not a full release date in sight. I can't imagine there will be, because I thought there was a bunch of fucking drama amongst all the game developers. I don't look at you would have been more successful if the girl was trying if to kill be friends, we could be friends. The detective essentially stated that Travis was friend zoned by Mimi, but he still invited Ooh. her instead of Jody anyway. Yeah, yeah I could detail. see that dance. Twist it around a little bit. I don't understand. Well, moving is expensive for one. So once I yeah. was there, I was kind of stuck there. Um, but was... why do you continue to go back to him? You know what he wants. You know right, we're like 40 minutes in now. But why you did you keep... To go back. Yeah. And it brings us to this point where we are now. Part of that, part of my, um... She was just hoping now, sleeping with him I'm would make him want to move on to something else. That I've worked out with, you know, with my bishop. Oh, your and bishop. he's given me, you know, certain scriptures to read and, and ponder and pray about. And Preacher Jody emerges for another two minutes, going into detail about scriptures and baptism. As long as the you repent, it don't matter if you took a life, more right? confrontational with the facts about Jody's behavior towards Travis. And obviously you guys kept this relationship hidden from everybody else, and, uh... I thought people knew. Nobody really knew about it. Oh. Well, um, there were some people who, who I talked to and said, yeah, they continued to... Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, I thought other people were kind of aware of what was going on. There are others who were Fucking failed in nearly every way possible, aside from being playable and brainless fun. I should try it out sometime. I am curious. They they have a shit ton of spun spin off games too, including like some developers are literally just fucking stealing models from other games. But I still think the concepts have a lot of potential. It's just oh, were, that was the execution. And the on. thing was, there didn't they make like a fuck ton of money on Kickstarter too? On I'm pretty sure they made like an insane like, amount of money. The detective I say insane. The How about a lot of money Jody's for nothing ever coming out after seven years? Was it the week of the like I feel like one person would have made June. more fucking progress, being that they had enough funding for a couple years to work on solely that. Which route did you take? 
from, from there. I was supposed to get on the 15 and go all the way up. Uh-huh. And, and you I got lost. Got off the 15. Where did you end up? Um, for a while I was lost. And I'm not above sleeping in the car, so I slept for a while. Um, None of the characters aside from the lost. teachers are pretty sure even 18. Mm-hmm. Is it a spicy game? Yeah, I, I, I They're looked at the map and I'm pretty sure you know where I went. I went, Alicia's can I draw you a map? I'm recording on my reprint. I repent. I repent in death. Um, I have a problem with this trip. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I thought you went down here. I've gone over this trip over and over in my mind and on paper. Okay. And even if if there's still 20 some odd hours, even if you pulled over to sleep a couple of times. Did I tell you that I got stranded? Yeah. Okay. You mentioned that. If you slept for 10 hours. I only slept for Here and here, it would still leave 18 some odd hours for something else. Okay. This is what people are focusing on. Is this true? When your alibi is, is bad? Is Damn. She left. She needs to tell Thursday. Wednesday? Eat. Some was killed. I did not go near his house. Isn't there... Aren't there... I pulled your cell records. Your cell phone was turned off. Between here... Here. Well, I didn't turn it off physically, but it died. And then it magically you, I got you it found back. your charger here? It was it was under the packed under the seat of the passenger side. And it was when I was When you were lost, you couldn't have Oh he's being savage. When I was stranded. And Yoda simulate in Yoda Simulator <laughs> explains to Jody is pics of classmates paint yonder it <laughs> doesn't make any sense whatsoever and whether it's Ew, Yoda Simulator she doesn't understand the concept uh. of time and distance she pretends to be confused by the allegation rather than actually confront it this goes on for three minutes before the detective confronts Jody with the evidence of the photographs on Travis's camera but I don't think you're being completely honest. I was gonna say, I thought there was a small handful in, uh, in, and maybe that game or maybe a side game that was like... It's, it's bad timing. So, my thing we're though, right? We're only half an hour into this. In this... Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, damn. We're in... Oh, we're in orange. Hell yes. Do we get confessions? I would love a confession. Um, if not most, damn. Oh, we even get some fucking. T- tr- ooh, this seems good. You were. We got pics. We got pics. Everything's just too coincidental. You can have a good alibi, but it can't be so that so fucking coincidental. Which there's pictures. I know you know there's pictures. Because I have them. I will show them to you. Okay? Start when she wears orange. How far are we gotta go? Because I'll be honest, this just seems a little slow to me. Over and over again. I'm not gonna believe you. Ooh! (laughs) Ooh! It's over. Could it have been my blood from the image is not important right now. Saving the rest of your life is... Listen, if I'm found guilty, I don't have a life. I'm not guilty. I didn't hurt Travis. If I hurt Travis, if I killed Travis, I would beg for the death penalty. It just seems so impossible. I want to see it. I want to know. I mean... I ha- don't... I don't recall having I I people that just are straight up like, I don't believe you. Something. And I don't hey, care. Say for a second that I did. And I say, I did it. Mm-hmm. I mean. <laughs> yeah, my captions. Jealousy issue. I have tried to censor I swear words. I, say it was I don't know if Twitch even cares when I say shit, but I feel like I should Plus, care. I mean, 
I'm or sometimes I'll just have it change it to an emoji. <laughs> I'm jealous either, but Listen, I might have been holding the knife and stabbing him while recording, but I'm innocent. Yeah, if anyone, maybe Travis was jealous, but I feel like this energy is just like if I blow you, can I go home yet? <clears throat> The energy's so weird here. I can prove it. We're there. I can prove it. But what I don't have is I don't have answers. It does another word. Twitch. And it replaces it with twitchy in every sentence. Maybe things got out of hand. Did you finally have the gun? Maybe that would... Joey, we're just playing games here. I'm gonna take a little break, but I need you to think about. God damn, I'm liking it. It's so fucking. I mean, he knows what's up, right? He gets it. He knows what's it's up. So important that you tell me. Yeah. What was going through your mind? So he's like, I don't give a shit. I just want a confession. I'll let you think about that. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go look for some pictures, and I'll bring them over. And... Yeah, I want to see the pictures too. I want to okay, see the pictures. What can you prove it for the accusation and the defense? So far, the only things that can be proven are your lies. Ah. Uh. She has to know she's screwed, right? Good back crack, I get you. But yeah, they never tied. They never. T I'm still surprised they didn't tie her down. It's a Glock. I just bought a gun. Did you? Mm -hmm. You probably found it by now. Probably. I was taking it from there. These are just a few photos. What kind of gun is that? A Glock. I just bought a gun. It's like, yeah, I bet you did, Jody. And I be bet you did. Not showing, not showing you certain photos Please because some of them are very. Show the photos. Oof. If Travis were here today, he would tell you that it wasn't me. Stop. My job is to speak for Travis right now, and everything Travis is telling me. Is that Jody did this to me? Ooh. Look at that one. Remember him? Yeah. Is he naked? Yeah. Yep. Jody is then shown if one of the pictures down, that was taken by that accident were while she was in the process of murdering Travis. <laughs> It's your foot, Joey. These are your pants. No, it's off color because we had to enhance it and the color kind of changes a little bit. That's Travis. Ooh, damn. This did not take much effort from them to have to figure out who the fuck it was, was this? This is his bathroom. That is not my foot. Couldn't even recognize Travis who'd been there so long. Do you have any recent cuts that are healed? Well, my cat scratches me. Little things. This guy's taking 40 minutes to understand how she lies. He knows exactly how to phrase the question statements to stick against her false persona. Right, he did really well, and he's like, now that I don't have to keep up this fucking facade with you, I'm just gonna tell you like it is. It's it's almost like this fun game where he knows that she can't do anything about it anyway. <laughs> Not the brightest. Uh, no. If she really wanted to kill him, there was probably a lot smarter ways to do it. Enough about your cat, but there's no doubt in my mind that you were the There's no doubt in my mind that you did this. None. So you can go and take your blue in the face and tell me you weren't there and you had nothing to do with it. 
I won't believe you. I want to know why. That's, it's killing me inside. That's I don't know why. The thing. Like, there's no reason for it. There's no reason why. There's no reason I would ever <laughs> want to hurt you. And I have a case against you. And I can there's present nothing. it to the judge. As cold as, as, as it is now. I don't know why she did it. Or I can present it to the judge. I fucking love this, dude. With your explanation. If I'm found guilty, what happens? You're in jail. You're in prison, dude. You don't have to pay the price. Well, what's the These price? have leave no evidence behind or have adamant. Exactly. Adamantine, yeah, exactly. And there's n- She's like, oopsie poopsie, I got fucking lost on the road. Depends on the type of crime. I got the camera wet. It depends on whether you show remorse or not. And part of that remorse is at least coming clean. Her fucking only alibi clean. at this point would be like self defense. I don't see and even course. then, who the fuck stabs somebody that many times and then shoots them? Like but double you're talk? Going through it right now. There's no backing up. I can't. No I can't really think of a good reason no to fucking murder him because she was also in his house. It already happened. You know. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to face the consequences. Um. You know, if if I did that. Yeah, I, you did. I'd be fully ready to face the consequences. So you're fully um, ready. I'm not really for things like. That's good know, to hear. For the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just can't. I didn't kill Travis. I just didn't. I did not take his life. You need to come out. Are my frames and fucky? Tell me why this happened? I will not accept. Just let me know if my frames are fucky, pieces. okay? I've been looking at the Yandere Sim, and I guess two years ago, what's his face got called up for making a game that's sexually different. I guess all the characters in the game were 18 plus didn't work. (laughs) Right? Yeah, I don't either. Anyway, Tate, how's it going? Like the girl who killed her husband 3,000 feet above the ground and on the other side of the world by poisoning his cookies until his immune system. I mean, you can't use him in court, but. Damn. 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 Took a knife. That's a story. I couldn't stop. Yeah. You stabbed him a lot. And before you knew it, it was all over. And then you panicked. Jeez. Then... I would, I've never been angry, that angry at him. Not enough for that. I've I never been, so been angry. angry I've never been upset with him, boyfriend. sure. The only airtight alibi that I believe from this woman's mouth is that she didn't kill Travis because she was busy killing <clears> some <throat> other ex-boyfriend elsewhere. I was killed someone else. If Duh. I go to trial for this, and if I'm convicted for this, whoever did this is going to be sitting very pretty somewhere. Glad that it wasn't them. And it's my job to make sure that an innocent person does not go to jail. But I don't see an innocent person sitting in front of me. Yeah, she doesn't it's have the best argument at all. I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully you're doing better. Why I'm saying that you are capable. I mean, I'm sore as fuck. Everybody says it. But uh, I guess that just means that I'm making progress. I don't even hurt spiders. Oh fuck you. I kicked a dog once. I kicked the dog once? I don't even kill spiders. God. I was a freshman in high school and I love, love, love animals. <laughs> so you and kicked the dog. We had this dog, his name was Doggy Boy. And we had his dog, his name was Doggy Boy. Uh the poison got caught years later because she had several mental breakdowns. We committed to drugs to dealers sold her own order to avoid fire. I mean, understandably, are you getting a swole? Hell yeah, I've been getting swole. I mean, I used to do a lot of home workouts, but ever since I sized I was to like my dumbbells, I started going to the gym. And now I've been trying to get them gains. But uh I'm pretty sore. Pretty sore. My parents until this dog that but have now have never progress. been able to and I don't mean just them, we as a family have never been able to care for a dog properly as far as give it attention and take it for walks and be consistent. To save you the oncoming ramble about Doggy Boy the dog, she- <laughs> Fucking Doggy Boy the 
die. What's your max, bro? I don't do PRs. I just do my regular, like, 8 to 12 sets. She lightly tapped him with her foot for tearing open the trash, and she's felt... But, uh, maybe I'll eventually get to the point where I can flex stats. Oh, also the love interest of Andre Sim has a little sister who you're supposed to kill that is described as around the age of 12 or 13. Good lord. Good lord. So ever since that it changed. What? He has a sibling? And they live together? <laughs> her entire Death. worldview on the animal kingdom. She now apologizes to the dog through the detective who's conducting her interrogation for first-degree murder. And I need to apologize for that to him. I know it sounds weird with my relationship with animals. It's kind of like they're like people too. You know, they have souls. Is she good? Is she fucking good? What you need to do is you need to apologize. You need to apologize to the dude you fucking stabbed over 30 times. Mr. Travis. She just refused. Yeah, I can't help you anymore. I kicked a dog. It's like, dude, you are on a fucking interrogation right now for murder. If you're not going to help yourself, you ask me really prior. can't. I can't, Jody. It's See, nothing but somehow still incriminates her, so remember she didn't ask for a. Yeah, she well, can like. From one emotion to the next once she realizes a particular strategy hasn't worked. The attempt at elevating her right, no, no one cares. how much she cares no one for cared. spiders and pets hasn't seemed to have any effect on the detective. No, he doesn't so give she a then shit. switches her disposition from sorrowful to analytical as she once more tries to manipulate his perception of her. If I did anything that had anything to do with his death in any way, it's not if to me. I wouldn't. It's not if. It's not if at all. Well, and he's it. so blunt too. That's why I'm I really mean, liking it. Because of all this info so from two separate articles I'm reading. Me? Oh no! I didn't mean to put you down a fucking so. rabbit I mean, hole, I bacon. Write everything down. There was this really good long I video I watched though about I like all the Andre simulators and how they were all like and interconnected. The true definition of sanity is dedication to reality at all costs. Mm -hmm. Well, this is definitely reality. Right. We are sitting here inside an office, mm -hmm. the sheriff's department, and you are facing first degree murder charges. What is and the you are going to be put Whitney, in jail, Wisconsin, I won't be as part of the shoot. You will be brought back to Arizona, and you will stay. Oh my proud. god. Whitney, Wisconsin. Oh my God! The oh no, oh no! I know who you're talking about. Let's. That's she's she's a fucking lot, dude. The shit she That's says really on God, I. Realize, uh, I think you'll be I've had worse issues with other people. They're all still alive. I'm still friends with my ex-boyfriends. They're all still... <sighs> I've had issues with people and they're alive. You know, I've been doing this a long time. And there's one... It's like, yeah, we're not expecting you to have a long history of murdering every single person that you screw. Thing that I can never get out of my head. Ever since the first day I talked to you. Like. It's, there's an old saying that, you know, someone's just not acting right. Look into it. Oh, but, yeah, <coughs> look at my whole awful game. I was saying something about something, right? Acting right Jody. You're acting like somebody who's guilty. How so? You tell me. I know because I've been doing it a long time. It's, it's taken me a long time to, to figure it out. I love that he's but now just like you're not acting right. Well, what am I doing? I don't know. You tell me. What is making you guilty? Maybe nothing's making you guilty. Maybe this is making you guilty. How did I act? Okay. It was not like it's not like TV. It's not anything like that. It's not what you see. <laughs> right? Yeah. She's like is none of my ex boyfriends are dead. No. Yet. It's not because of that. What is it? I mean, I'm not going to change how I act. No, so obviously you can't change the way you're at. You're no, acting. I mean, I am who I am. Okay, you're, you're sincere in the way you're acting. But, uh... 
Well, how you're is just, it? You're just not telling the truth. How is it different? Well, it's not really something you need to focus on anymore. After Jody failed her attempts to extract yeah, inside Jody, knowledge you fucking the best suck. way to behave in order to appear innocent, you didn't do good. she then attempts to explain why she hasn't been able to appear innocent. It's not that I'm not remorseful that he died. The reason I hesitate is because maybe this is something that's wrong with me psychologically, is I think of the butterfly effect. And it's like, you could say that the guy pumping gas station, get, pumping gas down at the gas station could have potentially, because you see all these movies, these funky movies, where it's like this affected this, which affected this. Don't blame this, Ashton this, Kutcher like, for you your fucking problems, problems, okay? That's true. Yeah, that's because you can't. Let's not oh, blame can't the butterfly effect. Something that I didn't do. If it would help. If it would help my case and give me an easier. Are you life, sure about that? People do <laughs> for those things. No, and I don't want you to do that. That is the absolute last Big thing. hydrate. I wish that I had answers. I'm sorry. You do! There's just no reason. There's just no reason. There's no good reason why this happened. You're right. There's, there's no good, good reason, reason to have to be that fucking happens. atrocious. This seems to be the moment Jody fully confronts the reality of her situation. The anguish she has Does over she even know it's a butterfly? Yeah, visible. I'm not even Yet sure what, how what she's saying even... Anguish as grief over Travis she's trying death. to she does argue... She posing a question. That if she confessed, that maybe she would confess if she knew it would get her off? More than I want to remember. <laughs> I want to hear a fucking good confession. I want to hear her confess. I like hearing people just confess the shit they did. I don't like the lying part. Of it. it it's amazing to see somebody's fucking facial reactions when they like confess. What's his face? Got mad at someone trying to help him on the others because he. Can you give me a rundown of what's gonna happen from here when you leave? Yeah, you're. Oh my god. Like, just today. I mean, at least he was fucking on point. This is a great way to treat the situation. Well, taken across the street to the county jail. Yep. Uh, you'll be processed through there. Yep. Um, this is a really trivial question, and it's gonna reveal how shallow I am. <laughs> but before they book me, can I clean myself up a little bit? You're gonna be taken the way you are. I can't give you anything else. Do I have to go in handcuffs? Can I clean myself up a little bit? A little water splish splash? It's just procedure. You want to look good for everyone, Jody? Whether you wrote a bad check or you're facing murder charges, you're going to go in handcuffs. Dude. God, that's not at all what the fuck I was expecting her to say. What? The guy helping him was helping him for free and he fucking fired him. Imagine having somebody volunteer their time to you for free and then you being that much of a fucking dick. Wow. Wow, though. Jody, what? Using bait. You're about. Should have at least done my makeup. What? God, I should have. If I'm gonna get sent to jail, I should at least look fucking hot while doing it. If I'm gonna get my mugshot taken, I'm gonna be taken out in, in fucking handcuffs. Then I should at least look fucking hot while doing it. If I can't look like a complete fucking baddie while under arrest, <laughs> what am I doing with my life? I wonder how am I still here? 
gracious that helps calm you down doesn't it <laughs> wait I love this descending I love this descending Jody was then taken to the county jail. Not at all what I would have expected. Alexander. But party? Party for her. She stayed there overnight and it would be a total She literally looks fine though. A total of 16 hours before she was taken back to the Siskiyou County Sheriff's office. Her second interrogation commenced at approximately 9:30 a.m. Rush brush you were smooth brain. Yeah, get that thing fucking wrinkled. God. Alright. Um, you wanna go ahead and stand up for me? As I take these cuffs off, um, just go ahead and put your hands down at the waist, okay? The game plan for this second interrogation will be a lot more strategic. Investigators will have studied the footage the day prior and will now have a greater game understanding of Jody's her. personality. Okay. The initial tactic is for Detective Blaney to criticize and berate the suspect's character while simultaneously reinforcing fear and apprehension. She makes it very clear from the offset that the suspect's fabricated naivety and sickly sweet persona will not work on this occasion and Jody's self-esteem will be broken down in a manner that would typically be considered bullying or abuse under different circumstances. Oh, shit! We're talking shit to her? Ooh, okay, yes. So that when Detective Fleur God, could, I cannot imagine getting paid to just sh 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 shit on someone. As returns, it will be a welcome relief, and an immediate rapport will then be attained, which in turn will make the suspect far more likely to cooperate. Good cop, it's a bad derivative cop? of good cop, bad cop, and the two investigators execute this technique in a near-perfect manner. Detective uh, Blaney's time with a suspect is essentially a non-stop psychological onslaught, yes. which is sometimes executed in a passive manner, while other times in a far more emotional torture. Manner. During the latter stages of the bad cop procedure, Jody will be asked if she would prefer to speak with Detective Flores instead. I feel like if I had to be a good cop or a bad cop, I definitely think I would be on the bad cop side. Okay, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. This question is posed a total of five times, and only on the fifth time will Jody finally give in and admit that she would. This will give her the impression that when Detective Flores finally returns, it was all her doing, rather than a calculated and prearranged strategy. Okay. The voice recorder isn't actually for the purpose of recording the conversation. It is a prop to reinforce the perception of Detective Blaney being the enemy, and not to be trusted. You'll notice that when Detective Flores returns, this device will be switched off, therefore reinforcing- That's smart. Longest time the snap function of Yandere- Wish I- As the creep creek never did anything, and when they finally made it do something, it was literally just nothing for like- Straight up, you can just make yourself some pizza rolls and listen to a song or two. Hell yeah. Idea ...that he is the friend who can be trusted. Today's date is um, July 16th, and my name is Detective Rachel Blaney, um, and I'm here with Jody Arias. Is that how you say your last name? Arias. Okay, I'm sorry. Arias. This is just formality, um, and this is, you know, if, if I have to, you know, write up a report of, of what we talked about, at least I know word for word, you know, what you said, and there's no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason that I wanted to talk with you this morning. <clears throat> There's a couple of reasons, actually. Yeah. It's, it's obvious to me that mm -hmm. 
you know, you're not, um, uh, you're not our typical suspect. You're a murderer. Um, you, you come from a, um, a good home, a good family. Your parents obviously care about you. Um, that was evident, you know, when they talked to him yesterday. Yeah, that's true. Um, and you're a bright girl. Um, eh, not too bright. Uh, more Literally just nothing for the length of a year. Yeah, just filler. And there's no question in my mind or any of the other investigators' mind um, my. that you were the person that yes. took yes. Travis's life. Yes, she did, yes. But what I need to know, or what I'd like to know, and give you the opportunity to do... She doesn't seem too mean lately. Not bad right now. whether, you know, you're a, a cold-blooded, cold-hearted um, murderer who slaughtered this guy, or are you somebody that got caught up in circumstances and things mm. went out of control? When this hits the news, um, and, and it will, it'll go to the media, do you want to be portrayed as, as a cold-blooded, cold-blooded killer? Cold-blooded because it, the media loves that. Hell yeah. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to give you a chance to, to make things right. You know? Just a good old so little oof. You do have some remorse. But when you continue to deny, 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 when it's obvious that, that that's not the case, you appear to be the cold-blooded killer. Oh, yeah, she is. She is. And you know that. We know that. Real fast here for you. Literally. Kind of when that other guy left, she was fucking laughing things, about it. You know, start getting heavy. This is this is your opportunity to help Holy her. Out. We don't need you to tell us anything. I'm doing this for you. It's a matter of do you want to take control? Is she supposed to be the nice cop? I'm confused. Situation and paint the picture of who you are cuz you're the only one that knows that. The professional ruthlessness of this investigator is quite astonishing. The demeaning and sarcastic tone she manages to super... Yeah, this doesn't feel that bad to me. This just seems pretty straight up. ...tones over straight facts is gripping to witness. You know, was it a matter of, um, like I said, um, this guy, Travis, building some sort of, what you thought was some sort of relationship, you know, where you... Were you hoping for marriage? Is this something that you were hoping for? Was he was he leading you right. on that path? Um, you You're know, hoping this guy would want to. Did he take of you? Um, was there were there promises made that um, were were broken? Did he betray your trust in some way? I don't know. Only you. Yeah, this doesn't that. seem that savage at all to me. She doesn't seem like that bad cop to me. This is this is not going to go away anytime soon for you, Jody. You know, you're a young, you're a young woman, um, just starting your life. You had a lot going for you. How old you was she for yourself right now? When and she was arrested. And it's going to destroy you. I wonder. Or change you in a way that you wouldn't want. Jody manages to veer off on trivial aspects of her and Travis's relationship that paint her in a positive light. Officer Blaney makes it very clear that she has far less patience than for Officer you. Flores. With what appears He's to be a very sympathetic tone, psycho. she will snap He's the suspect's about. focus mm. back to the element of the murder. As much as I love Travis, that's true. Always, there's something inside that says he's not the guy you're gonna marry. So then, what was it? What was it that? And why were you sleeping with him and wasting your time? It must be something. So you obviously wanted more. That, you know that you're cold-hearted and you you would just go and just you know kill somebody on a whim. Yeah, come on. That, that doesn't fit your profile. Exactly. So what was it that that led up to that? You know, you you tell me. It doesn't sound like you, you get a fucking me. stiffy off of thinking of like murdering someone. You it tell, sounds like you know, Travis's family. I'm just get it out of a plan of rage. The holes there, you know, and just kind of guessing about the emotions. You know, what was it that would make you... God, it's kind of fucked, though, to sleep with somebody and then murder them, though. So angry or upset. Ugh. She didn't just sleep with She traveled for some dick and murdered them. People speed on getting banned on the creep. <laughs> I love that, Bacon. I love that. No, fucking honestly, though. Like, you had to sleep with them and then fucking murder them? Ugh. 
God, I can't even imagine what was going through her head. Like, like, plant. That's a hole. Once Jody is forcefully brought back to reality, she all of a sudden has nothing to say. The passive yet disparaging tone of a detective must be a very hard thing for an individual to have to sit there and take. Especially someone who has used their fabricated sweet nature to their advantage most of their life in order to avoid these types of situations. She clearly didn't have sure post-nut clarity. Maybe she didn't nut and that's why she was- maybe that's why she murdered him. You're not gonna get a whole that's lot a joke. of chances to do this. Probably not. Once the, the wheels start turning, they move real fast. And you will Yeah, she ain't got nothing left to say. I'm kind of hyped to hear her when she's like all like You know, I'm I'm a spiritual person myself and I I don't think Is this the original detective or did they switch it back to a different I guy? That, you know, inside of me. I wouldn't want all of the, the ugliness of the lies inside of me. God, I wish this was in better quality, Take though. A just to think about what I said. Yeah, she's pretty quiet now. All right, okay. <laughs> Don't joke about that. It's been a <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was like, hold on now. That's not a valid reason. It's not a valid reason, okay? Anybody watching, don't murder somebody just because you didn't reach it. <laughs> oh God, that's not, that's horrible. And terrified. She at this moment was being observed by both Detective Blaney and Detective Flores in another room. And they even contemplated having Detective Flores enter at this moment. They ultimately decided against it, however, and Detective Blaney re-enters the room. That's so weird to think that they're just constantly watching. The pressure will now be increased to a considerable degree. Maybe I did have a wrong picture of you. You know, all of this time that you and I have been talking and I got information from your other interview, you are talking about insignificant things at this point. You're talking about money, you're talking about material things. You're yeah, shit no one cares about. But yeah. I'm just telling you're you talking about, about just a kind of people I care about. You're talking about everything but... It's irrelevant to the murder! ...how bad you feel about Travis. And you, you know that. ...to my questions... If I murdered Travis, I would Travis. be very remorseful. I think that I, I've gotten the wrong picture of you. I think that, you know... Like the Dubai business who sued a model for 10 years in order to get 10k in cash back because according to him, the pussy was tried. The whole affair became a meme of the dude is dedicated in his quest for revenge. The your sex bad should be paid for that. Oh my god. I've not Maybe heard of that, but I love that. that. Person, um, Dude. Portray, you know, that seems like, fair. You know, I'm just really confused. Eye for an eye. I just, at this point, you know, I, maybe you're right. Maybe there isn't anything that you can do to help yourself. Um, yeah, Jody's you fucked. Know, I, maybe I was wrong. Oh, when I see people crack their necks, I feel like I need to crack my neck. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. She's quiet. And that would be the one thing that would give them Wow, I can watch her fucking slowly sink into despair. I think that they would be appreciative. That's funny. Everybody has said that, and that's glaringly appropriate. Aww. Oh no. But... Your business is I ha half this time, I feel like I'm just making fun of her for fucking crying. So Why well, blonde women yeah. cops so good at destroying egos? It's just a skill set, I guess. This is your chance to make at least something right. Oh! Even if it's on a small scale. Oh! Yeah, with your fucking pitiful life, Jody. Maybe at this point, maybe you could at least try to do something a little fucking better with the last small bits of time that you have in freedom. It's a big deal to his folks. Can I hear that one more time? This is your chance to make at least something. This is your chance to at least make fucking something. Right. At least something, right? Because you've never done nothing right in your life, Jody. Even if it's on a small scale. It's a big deal to his folks. <laughs> this is your opportunity 
to make right on some of your selfishness. Oh. You can make fucking something right, you vain piece of shit. Was it angry at Travis? Oh, you were happy? Everyone keeps saying whoever did this was so angry. Then what were you? <laughs> were you jealous? Confess. Even her hypothetical confession is diminished and reduced to a footnote on a small scale. I have met people that savage outside of HR. Oh, was yes. Was expecting you to come over that day? Oh. Uh... He wanted me to. Yeah. I totally wasn't going to. Oh, yeah. And then you did. Was it a surprise that you actually showed up? And then you did. Jody prepares to set off on another tangent about photography, but gets shut down right away. Yes. The detective doesn't allow her thoughts to keep wandering off on something unrelated as a means for attaining a brief distraction from reality. I got pictures of him once shaving, and then he was already weird about that. Well, Jody, when you say things like that, it's obvious to me that you don't want to do the right thing for the family. You don't want to um, unburden yourself. You don't want to give them closure. Um, and you're jerking my ch Yeah, if you fucking want to just keep distracting and talking about dumb, wasteful shit, Jody, then it's obvious to me. Do you want to just waste everyone's time? And I don't Way to make things wrong. Shit, my chain being jerked. I'm tired of playing games. Jerk my chain. I'm tired of skirting around it. I thought that it would be easier for you to talk to a woman, to say what you need to say to a woman. Sometimes it is. But unless you're willing to give me something, what she ain't, I can't do anything for you. After today, things are gonna go so fast for you, you're gonna be totally out of control of the situation. Mm hmm. The wheels of justice will start turning. I understand that you're afraid and that you're horrified of, about that person. Even after one thing, interrogation and one night in jail. She still has like I Yeah, that's baffling my mind too. She doesn't have anybody at all. Like they fucking like got her down. Guess what? What? Like at this point, I certainly would have fucking tried to contact someone, anybody. And then again, I also would not want to be saying shit to these people. This is as good as it gets for you right now. Excuse me. Would you rather talk to him? Detective Flores, right? If you do, you know, that's that's fine, and I'm sure that he'd be willing to talk with you again. Or <laughs> yeah, because she's the she's the mean to cop. Me. It's up to you. Well, boo-hoo, big meanie. Come on, Jody. as of right now, you are less than worthless. You've never done anything right. You've always been a piece of shit. You literally ruin life just by existing. People fall into deep depression whenever they see you, and they can just tell how worthless you are. Just confess your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is that's going on. You complete human scum. We know the truth. All right? We're just dicking around right now, okay? Inside your head right now. She really thinks that she may get out of it. Anyone she might call is going to spread the news. Like, true. You know, whether you're weighing the odds, um, you know, trying to figure out how you can save your own skin here. Yeah, because you're selfish. Don't you think Flying turd it's bag. Going to make just a little bit of difference inside yourself, as far as that closure goes, if you know that the family at you least you have nothing has human about you anymore. Today, it's apparent me, right that your emotions you are completely void in your shell that you call a body. Because we <laughs> why are we going so hard on this? And I don't have the entire day. <laughs> I guess my patients are running a little thin. And if you think you're feeling grief over this whole incident, I premeditated and, and witnesses may come forward to bury her somehow, plus knowing her personality on anyone among her circle. To to oh, totally. I'm pretty sure didn't they report that everybody fucking that. hates her? Like I said, I thought it would be easier for you to talk to a woman. I kind of. You taught me that math, and, and because of that, my test had that exact question basically saved my test, and it was a two point question, but there was five exact questions on the topic. You got me. Oh my god, well, I'm glad to hear it. 
I am glad to hear that you were able to, to get a good trunk of it. I'm assuming you got a good grade then. Come on, Jody, don't be a literal parasite anymore. <laughs> Do you want to talk to him because he has been in contact with their fa with Travis's family a lot? Okay. I don't know if that would make any difference, but I know that he already talks to them. Hell him. yeah, hell yeah, and good to hear it. That, you know, he has a somewhat of a relationship with them. Yeah, he do so a little. To see if he's... Yeah, I'm not trying to stall or anything, but I could go back and read him. Oh, you, cl you called it taint? She also had to pee. Well. Rachel called me and told me that you wanted to talk to me. Are you doing okay? I got 93. Damn, that's pretty good. An A? I hear you. I hear you. Thank you. But so confessed. What matters is how his family is doing. I told you yesterday I've been doing this for a long time, and, and you're absolutely right. You know, the yes. person's family who, who was hurt, they're obviously hurting. Million percent. But there's a second gonna be your family in this case it's your family because you're going to be gone <laughs> the objective of good cop bad cop seems to have worked a higher level of trust and rapport seems to now be established jody pours out her emotion as the detective offers a sympathetic and understanding oh they played her like a book happens. once she composes herself she for some reason requests to see the photos of travis not before, but after he was murdered. Many could think she is attempting to gain some sort of depraved satisfaction from seeing them. Yet going off how the rest of this interrogation plays out, it's more likely I that wouldn't. she is trying to gather information, or at least confirm something in the photographs, before she amends her new narrative. This is a more of a selfish reason. I think it might give me some sense of closure. I know it's kind of morbid. I don't even think I really deserve closure. What is it you want to know about? Which one? Which one? Do you or do you not deserve closure, Jody? Do you want to see the room? By the way, do you want to see mm -hmm. the bathroom or do you want to see him? Or is it the photos before it happened that you want to see? I think the photos. Of After he's everything. dead, show me the dead boy. Come on. I, I won't show you those. Are there, is there any that you can? We had a difficult time identifying who he was by the time we got there. And he wasn't the same person. Oh, that's interesting that they can't show her. I wasn't expecting that. The detective attempts to get the dialogue flowing in a subtle manner. I told my therapist again about me wanting to transition. They sent me to a therapist, like in a good way. Exactly what she can like in a, in a, in a so, okay, in a good way. I'm glad to hear you're making progress then. I was going to say, I'm like, good way. Awesome. Exterior she continuously portrays. So why were you there that day? Please tell me. Are we clarifying then that she was there that day? Did you just miss him? So, I don't remember the interview, but one cop broke open the dude by making him count out loud for one minute. And gave him the exact numbers of minutes that he might go in jail for kidnapping. And asked him to count. Oh my god! Built different. Was there anybody else with you besides you and Travis? It was. There weren't. You know, there's not. Are you protecting somebody else? The detective allows for extended periods of silence. Only Jody will know for sure what she was thinking. Right, just to kind of like play it out, pull it, and see if there's anything like new to add. My geometry teacher marked an answer wrong on the final exam because the way I write my one, it looks like it could be a two. If. If you are just that incompetent at reading, he even asked me if it was a one or two, and I said it's a one, so now he knew it was right. He admitted you technically got it right, but it was wrong. This, that made me mad. I would be pissed, too. Yet one could safely assume she is desperately constructing her new narrative during these moments. <laughs> right, better. Just do better. If I just told you every single detail that I know, and I gave you a confession, nothing else changes. It just speeds up the process. <laughs> Wrong. Jail time. Go to prison. Answered incorrectly. In a need. I don't believe you. Well, yeah. Why did you throw the camera in the water? 
voice from the She changed versions four times, even her later. Oh my god. There's blood on the outside of the washing machine. There's, there's little things that give us clues to what you were doing afterwards. Everybody says he just leaves his doors open when, he, when he's home. Trust everybody. And this, they're saying they were closed? No. This I do. The cue for Jody's next series of insufferable rambles. The detective valiantly endures this for the next 31 minutes to lower her guard. I used to go to sleep at night and I would hear gunshots. 31 fucking minutes? 30? Oh my, oh my god. That neighborhood, that our neighborhood, neighborhood, another neighborhood. It wasn't that great and gunshots carried. And there were, because Salinas is agricultural and there were a lot of fields, and I used to think that they were hunters in the fields with their dogs. Oh my so god, that's, oh my god, god, that's so funny, <laughs> Jody. You're <laughs> fucking hilarious. You're such a riot. Wow. <laughs> Plays with hair. I really just went off on a tuition a few times when I actually did because they were just so incompetent. I mean, I, I feel you. There's a lot of fucking teachers yeah, that just blow some. And, and meditating there and then being there will help to give you further insight about where there were three fears. One was handguns, which is one of the reasons I got a gun. There was a CHP here in town that said he would take me out and go target practicing. And I went to the sporting goods store several times to see what he had, and they were all in the five or $600 range for the kind that I wanted. So they were too expensive, but then there was this one. It was too bright. Jody's dialogue eventually winds up on the subject of Travis and how Travis was private about the shower. The detective seizes the moment to catch Jody off guard. He subtly poses a highly incriminating question in a jokingly manner. He was very private about the shower. Like, we... Is that why you were taking pictures of him in the shower? No. <laughs> no. She doesn't deny she was there, only that she wasn't taking the pictures for that particular reason. She doesn't refute what is essentially an accusation. Yeah, yeah, that's it. true, Dan. This dance. seems to be the moment where Jody realizes Ooh. the holes in her story are beyond repair. She has to admit she was at least at the scene of the crime, and will now start to scramble her thoughts to garner the most self-preserving storyline. Trying to get back at them. No, um... Damn, was she like, fuck, why'd I say that? Did he say something to you? Ooh, right, you were there now. What did you do? People with bad handwriting, jail, jail time. What'd you do, Jody? What'd you do? Jody. Yeah. Why not? Did someone catch you there? Probably. I couldn't see my car. Then who was it? Who? Spit it out, woman. I like a dagger and a knife, she went, man, is hanging to every from her. Yes, yes. I can tell you everything that I know or that I remember. See those pictures? You can't see the pictures. No, not right now. You can't see the pictures. Soon, I will. Not... Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. You need to start letting me know what happened. Okay. You're telling me that some other people were there. He was kneeling down in the shower. I don't remember him. If you, like, if this is his shower and the sink is over here, I was, like, right here taking pictures. And no I don't shit. really know what happened after that. You blacked out. Exactly. Really? Except I think he was shot. Where were you? Now you're blaming other people? And then how do you explain the stabbing? Um, if this is his shower and he's sitting here, I was, like... Well, if this is his shower and he's sitting here, I was like right here on my knees in his bathtub was right here and I was taking him here and I was just going through the pictures and I heard this loud ring. And I don't really remember except Travis was Is she gonna try to say that there was random people outside that shot him? Screaming. I think I got knocked out, but I don't think it was that long. 
And there were two people well, there. Honestly, and- Iron Hand, I'm like... What the fuck are you saying? Um... Now there's... What? You bought a gun! And learn how to use the gun. And then you fucking stabbed him. And then because it wasn't enough, you wanted to take out your fucking gun and do a couple bang bangs. But she had motive opportunity and now she's cornered like an animal. Hence, the floor is lava. She is physically cornered. Putting my hand on his back. He was on all four of his knees. And and stabbed it, right? You put your hand on his back to stabilize it. And then you fucking stabbed him. Right? You wanted to finish the job? I don't know. And I was like, I was like, are you okay? What's going on? What's going on? He's like, go get help. Go get help. And I said, okay. And I turned around. There were two people there. One was a guy and one was a girl. I I couldn't tell that at first, but I could just see one was a girl. And I assumed the other was a guy because they're billed. And then their voices. Okay. Travis was screaming the whole time. He wasn't screaming like a girl. He was just like... Hypothetically, he did get shot. What do you mean screaming like a girl? How he screamed is so fucking irrelevant. He wasn't screaming like... Not feminine, alright? Even in death, he was still pretty masculine, alright? Even in death... He had a manly scream, okay? Like he was in pain, like he was like shocked, like, ah, oh, you know. It sounded girly to what me. Happened, Jody? What did you see? <laughs> Hello. There are multiple times when I proved my 10th grade general teacher that one day I just said you're Neanderthal. You can't read, you can't do a job, and you don't know how to teach, right? You can't teach good. <laughs> I chickened out like a little bit. Makes no sense. Exactly. Well, actually, did you hear about that one fucking shooting dance? Or what? The Columbus shooting? Apparently, maybe an intruder or a fucking psycho-ass person would apparently randomly spare people. You know what? Let's not even get fucking started on that. He was still like... But yeah, why would they spare you, alive. but fucking take him out? Just left him there. No, I ran into the closet, and he stopped me, and he didn't touch me, he was just held the gun to my head, and he was like, you don't go anywhere. And he told, he told the other girl to finish it, I didn't see. Right? Hey, I'm a head out, she yeah. Stay there. What the fuck did she mean? Like, she saw them, and then she was like, uh, peace, I'm gonna hide in the closet. And where was that in the closet? That's his swearing is bad. No, I chickened out like a little bitch. And then goes into detail about how her phone wasn't charged and how she forgot her phone charger. She then describes how she valiantly tried to save Travis from the female attacker. She was over him. What do you mean you had a gun to your head? And I just rushed her and I pushed. You had a gun to your head. How are you rushing some other chick? You have fought the hell? In the next moment, she will state that the assailant comes back. In the last 10 minutes, it's all jacked, dude. Is the gun to or not to your head? Did you try to chicken out like a little bitch? Or did you try to save Travis? On the white supremacy. Honestly, honestly. It makes my blood boil when conservatives are supremacists. And I'm being his inspiration when he literally speaks it out. Yeah, I would agree. I If we go down that fucking path dance, it's gonna be, it'll be, it'll be a whole thing. Back when she never went anywhere to begin with. Um, I, I got Travis and he wasn't like and she didn't hurt him right because she could never be so angry or so violent to ever hurt anybody so she like what fucking lightly tapped the lady fucking attacker and then pulled him out of the tub after he's already been shot standing up the other thing i thought they reported that she did try to attempt to clean some shit where in that time would she have to clean up right he wasn't really doing much and he was also where's the stabbing 
Did the attacker stab him a bunch and then she tried to pull him off, but it was too late? I was trying to get him. And she came back. I got him kind of- Cause you pushed her. Like if you were gonna murder somebody, you should have murdered the attackers, Jody. And fought armed intruder who just gunned down her fuck buddy. Exactly. She saved, but also chickened out. Yes, exactly. She came back. He was starting to just get weaker and weaker. Okay. And this guy came back in. Now he's back in. Where did he go? And she said that um, she said that they they needed to um do me too because um kill you because it was there. Yes. And he's like, no, that's not why we're here. I'm so impressed with this cop being able to fucking deal with all this. Her poor lawyers must have begged for an insanity plea. God. What the fuck is she talking about, Jody? Yeah, I mean, there was definitely aggression as far as. I mean, I don't know what you define aggression by, but like, I was. You know what aggression is. Next. Come on. So it seemed like they knew him, obviously. Yeah, but he didn't seem to know them. I mean, he was a little out of it. Plus, they had masks on anyway. But he didn't express any kind of recognition. So they have masks on, but they're talking normally. But they shot him from outside and then they broke in. He just needs to maintain his poker face. I'd probably laugh in her face, honestly. Well, in order to get contradictory statements into an rebel agenda. I could talk. The detective takes her back to the moment she tried to save Travis from the female attacker. Um, so I wasn't sure. I just knew I had to hold on to her hands because she had a knife. What hand did she have it in? She, she had it in this hand, but well, her, her right, I guess. So. Her right. I just said, come on, come on. You know, he was naked, but I didn't care. Just come on. And he's like, I can't. I said, come on. He's like, I can't feel my legs. Jody had obviously seen a lot of bad movies. Bear in mind. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I feel like I've seen this play out before. Seriously, Bacon, seriously. I can destroy every single bold light at night, like, yeah. This conversation she had with Travis was supposedly happening as she was simultaneously fighting off a knife-wielding attacker. She glosses over the struggle, and she somehow ends up outside the bathroom. The two assailants are now inside the bathroom, arguing with each other about Jody's fate. She hasn't stated whether Travis is alive or dead at this point. It wasn't, like, super young. It was kind okay, of like, that's not the main scene right chance. now. Whether Travis is alive or dead doesn't matter Shut to the up. scene. We got some drama. The male assailant then takes Jody's registration out of her wallet and looks at her address. He said, You ever, ever, ever say anything? You ever say anything about this? Then we'll kill you. About this. He said, They'll do to my family. Oh, they'll kill her whole family. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't there be other fucking remnants of other people then? Seriously. And then we started knife fighting and it was all cool and dandy. But I've never hit an an anything. I've never touched anybody before. I'm, I'm really curious to know if Jody got out alive. You know, I'm not really sure where this. I'm not sure what turn the story is gonna take. Voicemail to give herself an alibi for not being there. I was really scared. I was really freaked out of my mind. Okay. Yeah, this isn't. I don't believe you. Oh, I love when he says that. I don't. I don't believe you. I came in here hoping that you would tell me the truth. And yeah. This is not the truth, Bro, I came in here hoping for not fucking this bullshit, but every single time you open sense. your mouth, it just diarrhea's, Jody. I, I could have done something. I could have 
Like yes, you could have did more. Have a normal conversation with somebody. Stop fucking she somebody who doesn't somebody. want you. Not murder someone because, because they're not because worth it. Did he did not. Jonah, you did. You did. And you did. This is an elaborate story which does not make any sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense and it makes you look even fucking worse. Seriously. And this is the most far fetched story I've ever heard. That's cap. And it's not gonna help you. Is that how you wanna leave this? I'm the hero of the story, you guys. If it wasn't for me, then Travis would have died even sooner. There is a by me though. I mean not by me. By the intruders. Maybe the voice is in my head. Maybe the intruders are actually just me. There's no reason somebody else would come in and do this to him. No. There's no motive whatsoever. None. Who found any? What is my motive? Jealousy? Anger? Right? No fucking puncture anything? She totally had to have caught him fucking off guard. Keeping you in his life? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. There are so many motives with you. Good. <laughs> Too many. I can't figure out the origin of Cap. I was trying to figure out like where it came from. Jody continues to give random details about the fictional assailants for right. further eight minutes without being asked. The detective then ends the interrogation. One was male, one was female. They were taller than me. Not by a whole lot. Okay. All right. Are you ready to go back? Go off. I guess I'd still like to say something to his family, but what? No, you you're the one that did it. Maybe I could write them a letter. Ew. Even as the detective is leaving the room, Jody attempts to add further credibility to the new narrative and gives more like, details. Like seriously. I can give you Rich, so how's it going? So How are you? I bet Jody got out of it alive. But they stab part of the brain that allows you to, to lie with at least some level of competence, dude. That's what you're doing. Seriously. Okay. Dance. I really don't. She's so fucking bizarre. This is even worse than the last one that we watched. Can people just learn when they get detained to just shut the fuck up? Like, just... Detective just Blaney comes back stop. with a pen and paper just, three minutes just later. Stop. She was curious to see what Jody would write to Travis's family. I'm it fucking ended up curious. Being a self serving and whimsical paragraph about how sorry she was that she couldn't save Travis. The family were never given the letter. I, yeah, obviously. Jody completely dissects and carefully examines the ham and cheese sandwich before she eats any of it. And as you've probably guessed by now, continues to behave in a rather unusual manner. Has an ice pick through the nostrils. I went better. Yo, bizarre is that, Jojo? <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, she is being so fucking odd. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. You so. What a bizarre. I, honestly, I'm honestly impressed more by the fact that she was able to even get a fucking fast. Like, would she be able to ask for food? Like, lucky ass you. I'll eat shit in jail. I guess that's really all I needed. Yes, this is the part I've been fucking waiting ages for. I'm s dude. This is what I've been wanting to see. Alrighty, now we're into it. Fuck yes, okay. Alright, sorry. Don't roll the tape yet. <laughs> jail interview right after arrest. <laughs> right? Judy Arias rarely seen video before she admitted to killing. Ooh. Why was he a good traveling companion? And she's literally trying to put fucking makeup on. Oh, he was a great traveling companion for many reasons. Um, traveling with Travis was kind of like traveling with your own personal comedian. <laughs> yeah, or serenader. Jody not only stuck. 
Don't roll the tape yet. I'm not done looking for yeah. About the assassination squad. She doubled down and agreed to God. every media request that came her way. Of course she, she did. A soft-spoken, sweet-natured, Jesus-loving character that wouldn't hurt spiders, let alone human beings. But she once again fails to realize this fake disposition doesn't match the situation whatsoever. If you were sitting I have to put my makeup on and I have to look fucking cute and hot for the TV because I want everybody to pay attention to me after I fucking in a squad killed of jail, him. Wrongfully accused of murder and as a result facing life in prison by being their prison the wife, penalty, beautiful. You be acting like this. She's trying to come across as the Yeah, why is she so fucking concerned with like he's dead? Innocent girl next Are you door, fucking kidding me? Looks like a terrifying lunatic. Yeah, I can't imagine if there was somebody that I actually care about and was wrongly fucking convicted. I don't think my first thought would be like, do the people on TV think I'm hot like Jody? The dude was stabbed 27 times. You. Yeah, you're relaxed. What, you want some eyeliner? You want some eyeliner with that BS? Through the knowledge of my own innocence, that's the only thing. Um, I would be shaking in my boots right now if, if I had to answer to God for such a heinous crime. Jody Arias killed Travis Alexander. There is no question about it. Uh, uh. This is jody's defense team and okay. what we just saw was the very beginning of their opening statement on the first day of her trial oh right i want to hear it again question about it for such a heinous crime jody arias killed travis alexander there is no question about it you ain't going out <laughs> you shall never get famous and rich enough to be a c-list celebrity this is jody's uh... defense team and what you just saw was the very beginning of their opening st Imagine opening a defense with, yeah, she fucking killed him. Duh. Statement on the first day of her trial. The date is January 2nd, 2013. Exactly four years, six months, like and two days after Travis was murdered. The million dollar question is what would have forced her to do it? They must have figured the assassination story wouldn't go down well with a jury, especially when confronted with the many steps Jody took to get away with the murder. So the narrative has now changed for a third time, and the defense have to come up with a plausible explanation for Jody's trail of deception. The hole she had dug herself into was exceptionally deep, and her attorneys Most are now certainly, dude. Jury trials take so fucking long. So long. I can only imagine what it was like to sit through that. Pull her out. For probably fucking weeks, days? God. Did not always tell the truth. Her hair's not like... This must have been a bit, though. Because her hair grew out a lot. That she was scared. scared he knows it's a shit idea. Yeah. And scared. He's like, I don't fucking know why we're even here, dude. I'm... At this point... Paycheck, maybe? Like, that could really be it. ...about what she had done. She had absolutely no experience with police interrogation before. You don't say. And so when they talked to her... Hydrate, you're right. ...she wasn't always truthful. Her fear and her panic about what had happened led her to tell different stories. Throughout this trial, you will learn more about oh. Jody Arias. Although not everyone Who in Travis's family were devout Mormons, all of them were close. He, in particular, had a very strong relationship with his sister, Tanisha. And as you can probably tell, a picture can say a thousand words. Much more about Jody. You will find that she's an articulate, bright young woman who's a very talented artist and photographer. And so what would have forced her to have to take Travis's life on that? A lot, course? I'm assuming. In order to answer that question, we have to... Jury duty wasn't that bad, but then again, I think I was 20, only three days. Oh, I've never had to do jury duty when I, I guess kind of, I was working in, um, was the secretary? No, it was not the secretary. I, when I was working in a courthouse for a while, I would like sit in on like fucking trials and report back because I was on the like domestic 
violence um division basically and sitting through fucking jury trials it takes like hours just to get through like the fucking uh, like introduction ceremony before like the real shit even begins I'm gonna go back to the beginning the bulk of the defense's opening was to paint Jody as the naive victim and Travis as the calculated villain. Being a temple member and an executive director of prepaid legal, outward appearances would be very important to Travis. And so while he continued this facade of being a good and ver- I can never get on a jury. Colors despise everyone equally and don't believe in rehabilitation for adults over 25. Original. Mormon man. Um, he was inwardly dealing is that what disqualifies you? Sexual issues. And in Jody, in Jody, he found somebody who was easily manipulated and controlled. Someone who would provide him with that secretive sexual relationship that he needed. They also mentioned that Travis was violent with Jody on several occasions, that he would fly into these sudden rages for almost no reason, and that Jody was terrified of him. They end their statement with Jody's latest account of how Travis was killed, which is now a case of justifiable self-defense. The mm. attorney gets to the moment Jody was taking pictures of Travis in the shower. Jody accidentally drops Travis's camera. And as that camera was falling, that was enough for Travis because he lunged at Jody in anger, knocking her to the ground in the bathroom where there was a struggle. Jody's life was in danger. In just under I was from, I was really a, thinking they were going to try to do a self report on I or not a self report a self defense thing. Like I can okay. okay. This picture. We go to the next picture. Where it's Travis's body, he's clearly injured already in a minute. She's so fucking small, though. I just have a hard time believing that somebody who apparently has zero fucking experience being combat com combative in any way would be able to do this. I can't kill a spider? How the fuck can you stab a man? Brief moment of time, a minute? Are you kidding? It's not hard enough that she imagined losing a knife fight without- Yeah, exactly. Also, that's my other thing. She has no fucking bruising or anything like that? In that one minute, had Jody. Not been well, you were boring, but lost to shit after. None of of us yeah, yeah. Be here. In that one minute, had Jody uh. not chosen to defend herself, she would not be here. This is not a case of who done it. The person who done it, the person who committed this killing, sits in court today. It's the defendant, Jody Ann Arias. And the person that she done it to is an individual by the name of Travis Victor Alexander. Yes. A former boyfriend of hers. Yes. An individual that she was in love with. An individual that Ooh, was all written in her diary. Hey, an we're just going to blindly that believe that. The greatest blessings in her life. And this love, well, she rewarded that love for Travis Victor Alexander by sticking a knife in his chest. And you know, he was a good man, according to her. And with regard to being a good man, well, she slit his throat as a reward for being a good man. And in terms of these blessings, Ooh. well, she knocked the blessings out of him by putting a bullet in his head. She took the knife and began to stab him when he was and in that twist it, right? position. This I'm is so very sorry. important to take note of. I'm sorry. The prosecution just referred to this. The last photograph of Travis alive. Uh -huh. The argument is that Jody either asked him to sit down or at least waited for him to sit down before she began her attack. She knew Travis had to be in a disadvantaged position before it's she- It's all really weird too, right? Because the tub isn't deep. It's like just an open shower. So it's like, it's not like you're preparing for a bath or anything. Yeah. Yeah. That is an interesting- Commenced hmm. her assault and the prosecution- I'll be honest though. I feel like this isn't the part that- I feel like they should have censored more over here than they should have censored over here. It's like, God forbid he shows a hip. ...is that it was at this moment when Travis received a stab wound to the heart. It's like... Must have been some bomb-ass Mormon town, right? <laughs> right. He would have then began to rapidly lose consciousness from that point forward. 
He attempted to protect himself and escape, but he was soon overwhelmed by his attacker due to the rapid blood loss. No the kidding! The blood outside his bathroom reinforces the argument that his throat was cut after the stabbings. And a coroner's report, oh, which will be nice. revealed in more detail later on, concludes that Travis was in all likelihood... Do you think there's people out there that, like, love these fucking murder stories and murder cases and then try to, like, buy the houses or, like, get into the apartments that these fucking murders happened? Like... Because they like being last. in that vicinity. Joey's version, on the other hand, has to be that Travis was shot first. The reason for this will also be explained later on. And began and stuck the knife in his chest. He struggled. He grabbed the knife. And when he grabbed the knife, of course that resulted in more blood. I pushed the girl who was there. And I was able to get the better her. And I was about to run out. Get out and go get some help. <laughs> Except that I was then confronted by the guy. Oh. I started looking through my purse. And lo and behold, in my purse, believe it or not, I happen to have my car registration that shows my address. Because that's what I carry around. So they knew, they being the... It the is staff, weird, yeah. ...knew exactly where I lived. And he said to me, well, if you tell what happened here, the same thing's going to happen to your family. There's a different story now. Yeah, I know all her stories are fucked. I don't even know why she thought that that was gonna... I'm, I'm honestly, I'm side with you, Dance. I don't know how fucking bomb-ass this, like, sex must have been for her to oof him and keep pursuing the shit. Like, like, she's a perfectly fine-looking lady. She probably could have found anybody. I imagine it was, like, the piece of the fucking, like, it being secretive or, well... He must like me more because he's still sleeping with me, even if he is kind of seeing this Mimi chick. There must have been just some sort of, like, I don't want to say Stockholm, because I feel like she's on that end, but, like, she's it's hot because it's, like, maybe we'll eventually get back to Like, I feel like her was just, like, a whole angle of getting back together. And even though she says that... We're having sex, so it's not like we really took a break. That's what I imagine. Number 248. No jury is going to convict me. Why not? Because I'm innocent, and you can mark my words on that one. No jury will convict me. I also ask that you mark her words while you're marking the guilty verdict for her premeditated killing of Travis Alexander. Jody spent 18 days on the stand. When she knew what questions were coming, and when completely uncontested, she was very much in her element. She was able to respond to the questions instinctively, and her dialogue came out in a confident and natural manner. You could tell she had each and every one of her responses planned to a T, and had considerable faith that her manipulative prowess would ultimately yeah. save her. I don't know why, but they were Spider-Man and... At this point in the trial, the defense had already detailed how Travis was physically abusive, sexually overbearing, and a deep-seated pedophile. Jody stated that she... What? 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 Now he's a pedal? God damn, she's really trying to fucking fillet this man after computer life. Computer looking at images of children. Okay. And that Travis had even asked her to wear Spider-Man underwear. Okay, okay, all right. Your killer houses can be very pricey, but only if not in some horrible neighborhoods. If you want to save money, buy a rent where people kill themselves or were discovered dead from natural causes. Yeah, like, I thought it'd be cheaper, right? But I was like, I wonder if, like, there was some, like, disgusting, like, horrible, like, family triple homicide or in a nice neighborhood that some, like, little, little, like, creepy person would be like, I'll pay an extra 20000 if there was a death in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> refer to the taking of a life as the unforgivable robbery. Very much have to agree with that. Agreed. Agreed, Bacon. Dude, so he really aggressive, sexually aggressive. Pedo. Violent? Anger? Sex. The next segment is Jody's supposed theory as to why Travis had such a request. I, I do know, however, that prior, the year prior, he... 
There was a child he was close with that really liked Spider-Man. I don't know if that had anything to do. Bro! Dude, millennial serial killer problems cannot sell your house because you cannot. <laughs> right? What do with it, but he was very much into Spider Man. Am I really hearing this right now? This is the reason why she never. If someone were to take the life of a care about, I would never forgive them. Most likely seek vengeance. So Understandably. After finding out about his pedophilic urges. Um, I was under the impression that when he was able to sleep with a woman, as opposed to fantasizing about a child, he felt like more normal as a, as a man. So, also I had seen prior to this incident many beautiful qualities about him and good qualities about him and things that were attractive about him. And... Are you gonna try to say shit like, I was fucking him because at least then he wouldn't try to sleep with children i believe that this incident was a negative part of himself that he what the hell didn't want to foster or that he was fighting or struggling against and that he ultimately wanted to eradicate so just to clarify what she actually said her understanding and support of nature was the reason she stayed in a relationship with an unashamed pedophile she kept it a complete secret hoping he would change all the while he was being physically and emotionally abusive on a regular basis She's tearing down his character, but trying to do so in a subtle manner. She gives off the impression that she's holding back on his detraction to preserve some of his reputation. No, I don't think it's confirmed at all. She's just as much as she trying to destroy can. his reputation. This is version of events that led up to the killing. This is insane. Wounds. It's important. This isn't at all where I thought this was gonna go. This is absolutely fucking bonkers. To note that when you rehearse something in your head repeatedly, it can be as though it actually happened. And as we know, Jody had nothing but time on her hands for the last four and a half years. The clip will begin at the moment she dropped Travis's camera. It slipped. It was kind of like the best I could describe it, like when you go to catch a football, but it bounces and you kind of fumble it a little because it, it didn't slip and just drop. It slipped and I tried to catch it and it kind of bounced a little and then fell on the ground and bounced and rolled onto the tile. It fell first on the mat. I don't even think he likes Spider-Man. I don't even think the Spider-Man underwear story is even true. I don't think any of this is fucking legit at all. Right onto the tile. The mat isn't very big. It's just kind of right outside the shower. At that point, he got very angry. I don't think any of this is fucking true. I feel like she was just... I feel like he was just some dumbass, horny dude that wanted some fucking poontang and got it. He's trying... She's saying anything to not get the death penalty of life without parole. She's trying to get parole. Because she fails, right? And he stepped out of the shower. He lifted me up from the crouch position with enough force that my feet came off the ground momentarily. And he bought Damn, what a fucking strong dude. Body slammed me on the tile. At that point, I rolled and I ran down the hallway. I ran into the closet. I slammed the door. I start running. If you are looking at the diagram, it would be on the left side of the seat. I began running that way with my initial intent to probably run out this door. So normal dude was probably the abused one and she was the worst of ship. I'm just saying he like he was just seemed like he was probably just some like basic boring ass dude that fucking wanted the opportunity to to fuck someone without having to really go out and see and seek it out because it was just fucking there. It was just fucking handed to him on a fucking platter. She just shows up randomly at like one. According to Jody, a gun was hidden above the shelves in Travis's closet. She had discovered it a month earlier while cleaning. I grabbed the gun. Right as I don't right about then Travis was opening the door. I grabbed it. So the gun wasn't even your gun? I ran out into the bathroom. He ran, I believe, straight toward the door as well. When you specify NSA and she <laughs> wants marriage, yeah, yeah exactly. I out of the bathroom, and I turned and I just wanted him to stop, so I pointed no the gun at him, hoping that that would just make him halt, and it didn't. Instead, he lunged at me right around the time that the gun went off. 
and I didn't mean for it to go off. Exactly, Bacon. Exactly. This is why her version has to be that Travis was shot first. According to her, it was all an accident. There was no intention to actually kill, and Travis's death was the unintended result of his own senseless aggression. So you his death is his death is his fault. How she can explain the twenty-seven stab wounds and the laceration. Personal to his experience. Throat. We got we fell. If somebody showed up at my house, like, in the middle of the night, without, like, any, and also has a fucking history already that's kind of bad. With a pretty good force down Dude. in the corner, near 15, but not quite a, that close. It was kind of near the sink, kind of, sort of, that area. Okay. And he fell kind of on top of me, but to my right. I didn't want him to get on top of me. He was grabbing at my clothes. He was trying to get on top of me. I don't know where the gun went at that point. It was not in my hands anymore. If it got knocked out of my hands or if I dropped it, what? I broke away. Seriously. Him, and as soon as I broke, the moment I broke away, that's when he threatened my life. Just to be clear on what Jody is talking about, after she accidentally shot Travis in the head, he wrestled her to the floor. If I could continue wrestling somebody to the floor after getting shot in the head, pff, dude. But she then managed to break away, at which point he screamed the words, I'll fucking kill you, bitch. I'd have no clear memories after that. At all. It's things began to get really foggy after the gun went off. So there it is, her explanation as to why she slit the throat and continued stabbing the man she had no intention of killing is that she can't remember. The trauma of the situation caused complete memory loss, but she's able to detail how terrified she was right before her recollection goes blank. It's hard to describe right. the fear. Um, so it was... weird. I had a girlfriend who literally would just show up at my little apartment I had at the time and would just say sex and nothing else for the no except and oh. Oh. It was like mortal terror. It really was. Um, when he was trying to get on top. I feel like that's... Like, I, it's unique to the relationship, right? And I guess, like, if that's, like, your thing or, like, your, your set established, like, role play, I guess, then... Cool, but... Yeah, I don't. Me, I thought he was, and then he threatened my life. I really thought he was had intentions to kill me, so I don't remember spe any specifics. I don't know. I still honestly uphold the thing with uh, if I'm just gonna like randomly fuck somebody for no other reason other than to just fuck somebody, then I might as well get fucking paid to do it. Otherwise, if you're just fucking people and already having that fucking risk without any real like benefits outside of like a fucking nut you could at least be charging of what happened right after that point this is her explanation as to why she never called the police once she came to and that's senses, my tip and also why she went to such lengths in order to cover up her involvement i didn't want people to know yeah so i guess maybe that was just a unique thing in your relationship i don't actually know if it was like maybe it was just a little i don't know Sex is a, is a gray area. The kinds of things that were going on in our relationship. I felt that if- But I for y'all, I don't know, maybe it was just a me, little weird spicy thing that she was into, I guess. And you seem to be into it, so hey. I gave explanation as to why I would- If you're good at it, don't do it for free. <laughs> yes, exactly. I have to go back through the different incidents that we've gone through and how those things didn't really begin until after I walked in on him. I believe they were related. And I That's for everybody. I didn't want to go there. So it was all convoluted, and I thought that by saying that. <laughs> oh, I feel that dance. I, f I feel you on that one. I mean, don't get me wrong. Boning is sick, dude. But, like, if it's not your job... Having a little bit more additional benefits are nice, that too. That would open the door to that, to that, to that. And I didn't want to de-edify him. So just to abbreviate what she said, okay. it was all to protect Travis's reputation. 
She asserts that she... I wanted to protect his his reputation, so um, he made me dress up in little Spider-Man undies because it reminded him of a child he was close to, and he also tried to assault me. Just to protect his reputation. <laughs> She was so sure, upset Jody. by the event that she became suicidal and would de Really? Really? Detail four different occurrences in which she tried, but ultimately failed to- You failed four times. The you had a- The first attempt was intended to be by self-inflicted gunshot. Okay, that was my question. I was like, you have a gun. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was a committed. We both generally were set to break up because she said, unfortunately, I don't think it's working. You're not a bad guy, in fact. We still talk sometimes. We no longer screw randomly because. Oh, well, right. Yeah, bacon. That's what I was saying. It sounded like you had a committed relationship and it was cool. It was just like this weird little, like, spicy additive thing. That you just ran with you that was like a unique instance in your situation that was like i would deem more healthy because you also had i guess a connection outside of that you know what i mean like there was like a mutual consent and like it's done now so you know it's not a creepy stalker thing and jody connects it to the registered gun police found in her bedroom after the arrest i was going to wait until i left very specific too. Vodka sauce, pasta. Okay. I got to the Salinas or Monterey area so that it didn't happen right in my own mm. backyard, so to speak. So um, interesting. And I was leaving for that area the morning I was arrested. You say let. Is that a thing that you prefer to do? How does that even come up? <laughs> Her other like uh, I've asked other people if I could eat specifically vodka sauce pasta, but. She was the one that let me. And like it supposedly happened when she was in jail. I had written out. A little spicy also. Like I said, definitely not meant to. Yeah, right. And a crazy side, which was actually very fun. Not the bad kind, just more of a... Mm, all my suicide fair. Letters. I sent my note. I, le I sent them all in an envelope to my grandmother's. Do not open until November 10th, 2008. I was hoping to be dead by then. I was like giving myself a little time to get my affairs in order. I I really want vodka pasta sauce. My afternoon clothes go. Okay. Yeah, understandably. So I could stuff it around my body because there was somebody sleeping below me, and I didn't want anything to like. I didn't want anything to get on her. So hold on, back up. Do not open until. Hold on, I need a piss. This is going somewhere. Yeah, I wouldn't believe her shit either, dude. Like that ain't it.
there. No. We're not doing it. All right. There's a mistrial because one of the jury was a, a Judy fan and had a political agenda? Damn. She's really recruiting them in the ranks. November 10th, 2008. I was hoping to be dead by then. I, like, I wonder, who do you think it is? Giving myself a little time to get my affairs in order. I had asked for extra laundry so I could stuff it around my body because there was somebody sleeping below me. And I didn't Luna, hello, hello. Time. How have you been? I didn't want anything to get on her. So I stepped it around my body and right. under my blankets with my razor. I never did it, obviously. I'm still... So yeah, I was getting comfortable and I was really pissed at myself because I wanted to just I just wanted to be done. The final strategy from the defense is to portray so I can't believe this dude. It's a I've just been trying to keep it with streaming and whatnot. What about understandable? Understandable. Honestly, I've been keeping up pretty good with streaming. Definitely had a lot of vacation stuff. Vacation stuff coming up. Um but uh, most of my time was spent working on my degree, honestly. It's one of the men because they probably thought she was hot. To make it seem as though she's not even trying to Come on, let's not fucking be bold and call her mid bacon. I feel point. like obviously she's she's a normal looking girl. Right. Let's not even start with that. That just reminds me of the whole fucking shebang happening right now about the Sports Illustrated model and everybody's flipping their shit about Have it. You forgiven yourself. For not finding lurk, I appreciate the lurk. Thank you, Luna. The situation you found yourself in on June fourth. No, I think that. <laughs> Have you guys seen all the fucking Jordan Peterson drama about the Sports Illustrated girl? If I just Him getting hella ratioed. Before any of that happened, I have a million regrets. I bet you do. I mean, I... No? Alright. Hold on. I'll go down a fucking a little rabbit hole for you. The fucking Jordan Peters... For God. I can't... Can I spell, dude? Let's see. Hold on. I wait. I just want to find the one he posted. You really guys are really going to hide it from me? Don't hide it from me. There we go. Perfect. Uh, right here. Okay. I'll be a bit understandable. Okay. This is what it is. Now my girlfriend, on the other hand, she's like a... <laughs> this fucking tweet is making everybody just tweak the fuck out, dude. And I love it so much. He said, sorry, not beautiful, and no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. Because Sports Illustrated put... A plus size model on the cover. Now, I also want to note that this this isn't even the first time that Sports Illustrated has put like a plus size model on the cover. And so everybody's just been fucking shitting in his mouth over this tweet. And he's been getting ratioed so hard. Because, like, one, like, how fucking dumb can you be? Like, it's fucking Jordan Peterson. Does Jordan Peterson think he's the fucking epitome of being, like, an attractive man? No. Also, like, isn't beauty, like, subjective, bro? Even any of you before sentencing is hoping to get death penalty instead of life from prison, so the sympathetic jerk. Ooh. Got him. Got him. But yeah, so that's what this whole thing was about. Everybody's just, just been tweaking out. Honestly, my only thing is like one was a retrial or life without parole, right? Now, I do have so I feel like I can see both sides. My first argument with this whole like fucking debacle, I feel like they should just have women in sports be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. 
Like I and and I looked it up to make sure she wasn't in sports and she's not. And I feel like if they want to show like plus size women, they should show fucking like power lifters on Sports Illustrated and demonstrate that like you can be a fucking hottie and be on the cover of Sports Illustrated and rock a fucking two piece or a swimsuit, whatever. While also having them like mm, those good ass muscles. Personally, we don't need heroin chic. We don't need people who aren't in sports. We should have women that are in sports. That would make the most sense to me. And it's not. And anyway, everybody got all pissed about her being on the cover. And honestly, I don't even know why anybody fucking cares. Half the time they had fucking Sports Illustrated women who weighed like 90 pounds and would probably fucking faint if they had to go on the fucking stair climber. You know what I mean? I want sports swimsuit on sport magazines. <laughs> Right? That's not something that you can swim in overly efficiently. What the fuck? <laughs> but that's my thing. And and the other thing I find weird, right, is they then take this and they try to compare her to, like, old, like, Aphrodite statues. And I feel like that's also a bit much. I don't, I don't think that the diet in the U.S. is what was, like, intended for the past 100 years. But I also don't think being fucking emaciated is also the intended. There's just a variety of people and everything's a fucking spectrum. We don't have to lie about it. Because everyone's also saying, like, she's not that big. And it's like, well, if you took the average of the world, she would be plus size. But she's still hot. You know what I mean? Like... You want to be to be used by humans to contemplate this nonsense. <laughs> Twitter will be Twitter. Do not feed the attention to the cesspoolness. You are willing to risk losing your, your will to live. That's my thing. I think everybody missed the point. And my only thoughts really were they should just have women in sports. You know? I want to, like, I want to fucking, like, if anything, put a bodybuilder on there. If they're going to have fill this fucking book with mostly bodybuilders anyway, they should just have the equal counterpart of women also being then represented, right? Give me the fucking beefy babes. Come on. Come on. Anyway, that was my, that's my rant. I got it out now. Uh, like, yeah, imagine that you get mad because you don't think someone's attractive. It's like... It's like, no one's asking you to fucking beat one out to her, Jordan. No one's asking you to fucking double fist your fucking schlong and beat one out. Like, it's not a challenge, dude. It's a magazine. Which, you're not fucking athletic either. So why does anyone care? Yeah, like, it's they're different for everybody. They're different for everybody. Like, prawn. Yeah, even if you don't think someone is attractive, you, yeah, exactly. You just pick what you like, yeah. So it's just absurd to me. It just baffles me. Anyway, that was that, that was that little nugget. I was scared of him and I reacted. Sorry. I still, re I will always regret everything about that. Also, get fucked. Get fucked. Sucks for you. You didn't even get your death penalty like you wanted. Do you blame yourself for not taking some other alternative measures? Yes. I think maybe if I'd handled the gun properly and just, I meant to just point it at him. I thought it would stop him. And maybe he wouldn't have gotten as angry as he did. Maybe he wouldn't have threatened to kill me. I don't know. Ma'am, do you remember having a conversation with Detective uh, Flores of the Mesa Police Department Man, I'm back on hungry. July 15th of uh, 2008? Yes. And this was the day that you were arrested, right? Yes. What's fascinating about this prosecutor's approach is that the vast majority of his cross-examination doesn't even challenge Jody's new storyline. He simply asks specific questions within it. He puts a microscope under certain elements. Interesting. Agreed. And lets the absurdity of it all speak for itself. And during that time, you told him something. And let's take a look at it uh, right now. Okay. I think you can help us. I would love to help you in any way that I can. Okay. That's not true, is it? Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on what help means. Yes or no? Were you there to help him? I don't know. 
Were you there to tell the truth? Yes. No. That wasn't the truth. That is not what I thought she was going to say. You two are positive when she says, I've made a severe, continuous lapse in my judgment. Seriously. No, that was not the truth. You'll notice that Jody has a hard time agreeing to details that actually conform to her own narrative. The tone of the prosecutor puts her on the defensive, and she tries her best to avoid agreeing with what he's saying, even though the actual context of his dialogue correlates with her own defense. And in fact- I'm so confused. Yes? Like, bitter rage about the- basically two roommates use a traditional aboriginal instrument as a- What? Oh no. You were there for a different purpose. You were there so that uh, you wouldn't get the What a fucking fire. crossover. No what will. a crossover. There's nothing that the detective ever did to get you to say whatever it was that you said at the first interview, right? The memory issue. Ma'am, are you having bold remembering what happened back on July 15th of 2008? No. So he didn't do anything then, right? Anything what? What are we talking about, ma'am? Are you again having problems understanding yeah, what's going on? Your Honor, if she can't understand his questions, that's... Overall, to me, answer. I don't understand. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling yeah. sorry for yourself? Well, you shouldn't be, because you are dirt! You make me sick! You to lie, right? No. Valid. So with this interview... We're mad and happy of getting support until they realize that the supporters were... Neo, oh lord. You then started to talk about oh lord. you had been in Arizona, right? Yes. You said no, you hadn't been in Arizona, right? That's right. That's an absolute lie, right? Yes. And the reason that, that you didn't want to admit to being in Arizona is because you knew that you had killed Travis Alexander, right? Yes. Ma'am, after that interview, you then had another chance to have a conversation with Detective Flores the next day, right? Yes. What the fuck and is again, happening? It was a voluntary conversation, wasn't it? Yes. And it was the same situation as the day before, right? He sat down, he asked you questions, right? Yes. That's when you changed your story, didn't you? Oh, what did I do? Oh my god, what is she doing? Why is she doing this? Did she. Uh, it... Did you lie? Yes. Were you actually there? Yes. You killed him? Yes. You willingly talked to the person? Yes. Was that the truth? No. D Jody. Yes. Jody. Because you did not want any consequences with regard to the killing of Travis Alexander, right? Where is Uwu sound alert? You didn't hear the Uwu? I might have been too loud. Is the land of unlikely crossovers like vegans and carnivores have overlapping communities of furries and super- Oh lord. Twitter. Did, did you hear that Elon apparently backed out of that whole, like, little Twitter fiasco thing? At that point, that wasn't my goal, so... Well, was your goal to go to prison? Not a physical prison on Earth, no. I was trying to kill myself, I think. Hey, 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 We say unalive. You've said that many times, that you tried to kill yourself, right? In court. I don't know that many, but I've recounted a time that I did. You've you, you said it more than three, four, five times, right? Perhaps. It's very interesting to see which questions she tries to avoid, or which statements she outright refuses to concur with. Huh. Her suicidal tendencies were such a huge part of her own testimony, yet she just can't bring herself to agree with what was a very straightforward question for right. the prosecutor. The amount of times she spoke about suicide should be of no she concern. She wanted to go to prison unless, on course, Mars. She had an agenda behind it. When a specific topic such as this gets brought up, she all of a sudden becomes highly cautious in how right? she responds. Cross he said he backed on the out on Twitter and started the on day 39. At this moment, Jody has already explained oh, yes, that she the, the camera, was body slammed by Travis, rolled away, and had just ran into the closet to get the gun. So then you just said that you were going over to... It's like, why do you even start the whole thing anyway? He had to pay like a billion dollars or whatever in fees, I think, corner, even right? after you backed and out. as you are in that corner, he's coming in through the door, right? Yes. Yes. But man, this is a very small closet, isn't it? No, it's bigger than the cell that I live in. It's bigger than what? It's bigger than the cell that I live in. It's not a small closet. 
Ma'am, we don't want to know where you live in. Do you understand that? I'm just using that as reference. It's not small. Do you understand? Did I ask you where you were living? No. We're clear, right? We do not want to know where you're living right now. You understand that? Okay, sorry. You run in, into the bathroom, don't you? Damn! You're in a hurry, right? Yes. I you guess. You get away, right? Um, I want him to not get Damn, away. he has a bathtub and a shower? Well, you want to get away. That's what's going on, right? I want him to not get near me. That's what's going right. on. And so what you do then is, according to you- The platform is brought and managed by people with more money than common sense. Twitter would have gone the way. True. Is, you then yeah, Tumblr really became a big old cesspool. And then you pivot, right? Or turn around. Yes. You have the gun. Which hand do you have the gun up in? Both. So um, you have it out like this with both hands outstretched? Yes. Correct? Yes. And so you have the gun outstretched and He's still not there yet, right? He's still in the closet. He's coming out the door as I turn. So he's at the door now, right? And according to you, he is on you when you shoot him, right? Not quite on me. I think the, the gun went off and then he impacted me right shortly after that. And in fact, according to your testimony on direct, he falls on top of you, right? He lunges at me like a linebacker. Jody. Thanks for the analogy. Use this linebacker analogy a number of times throughout the trial. Like the prosecutor now He ain't built like a linebacker. Let's not fucking kid ourselves. Her to give a visual He's getting through her eloquence and copy paste answers are Yeah, exactly. I literally the libs the guys was he serious. It appeared to have no real tactical purpose, but it was certainly uh. a welcome and somewhat comical distraction for the viewers at home amid the graphic testimony. Um, as he was no, running, no, just, just show me. That's what I'm asking you to do. Not talk. Show me. Show me the linebacker pose. He got down. And well, show me. Show me the linebacker pose. That's what I'm asking for you to do. Okay. He went like that, and he turned his head and grabbed my waist. And just like that, correct? Pretty much. And he What the fuck am I watching? God, oh my, this is ridiculous. I can't say it's just like that, but that's what I bring well, No, just, just, I want, without talking, just show me the pose. He got down like that? Like that. <laughs> After he came at you. Like, oh God, why? Ugh. Did you go down? We both went down. And he's still not dead, right? You, I can just tell by your face that she's like fucking up. Definitely not, he's very angry. He's very you angry. You know what I mean? And this is seconds afterwards, right? Yes. Is he on all Seriously. Um, he's Seriously. on the side of me grabbing at my clothes and grabbing at me. What happens then? I break away from him and he screams out, fucking kill you, bitch. And then what do you do? They got it down. I don't really remember. I just remember. I don't remember anything at that point, so I would be speculating. So you don't remember a single solitary thing after that, right? The prosecutor for the next several hours would argue the improbability of that being the case. The memory loss caused by trauma would put Jody's mind in a state of disorganized chaos. Yet her next steps were highly calculated, as we all know. Even going by her own narrative, she knew exactly where to strike Travis with a knife in order to kill him. She also cleaned down the crime scene and deleted the photos from Travis's camera. This argument took over three hours to conduct and had to be explained through the scope of mathematics and science. On paper, it was... Jody and Matt. Perhaps the most damning part oh, of the no. Yet it was so complicated that much of the testimony could have been lost with a jury. It was in fact the start of day 44 that had the most impact. It involved the time span between the two photographs taken on Travis's camera. Me want to science and math with Jody. That Jody That's just a recipe for disaster version of events. He will first be like, able to recount all of these events in detail. And as she's she doing so, he will be oblivious to the prosecutor's closing argument. Probable she probable will begin yeah, giving her that's own very true. without realizing it. And it's you could just, like, tell while she was doing it, she had to fucking think, like, how to motion it on the spot. Note that all of what she is about to recount occurred in just 62 seconds. This exhibit, 161, is when the camera 
according to you, actually hit the ground, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's hitting the ground as that photo was taken or not. So you don't know how this photograph was taken then, right? It could have been when I was trying to catch it. I don't know. At some point, that okay. camera hits the ground, right? Right. Yes. That's what you told the jury, right? Yes. It hits the mat, yes, and rolls to the top. Ma'am, yes or no, didn't you tell the jury that the camera hit the ground near the shower? Yes no, no, no. I said it landed on the mat. Is that near the shower? Yes. Is the mat on the floor near the shower? Yes. And the camera hitting the mat, would that be near the shower? Yes. And you then said that Mr. Alexander oh, was very upset, right? Damn, yes. he is so that, done with her shit right now. He He's like, that's what I fucking said, shower. dude. That's what I said. Me. He picked me up. That's coming after you, isn't it? And according to Oh my god. To you, those movements culminated or continued when he grabbed you and put you down on the ground, right? Right, yes. he tackled you? And like a so linebacker? You said that you bumped your head or hit your head, right? Yes. And that uh, maybe it Where's the mark? You, right? Yes. Me being like that, that. And that you were in fear at that point, right? Yes, very much. And that uh, you. If I ever get caught with Myrna, I'm going to. Axtius and Ruse, cold blooded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were able to. Fight him off right. so you could get away, right? Um, I rolled. You roll away and you begin to run down the run down the hallway, right? Steps. And then Steps. You into the closet, right? Correct. Yes. According to you, yep. that's where you went and obtained the gun, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. When you went into the bathroom, you were able to turn around, if you will, and now you had the gun in your hands, right? That's what you told us, right? Yes. Yes, okay. And that's when he was coming at you in this linebacker pose, right? Around that time, yes. And that's when you shot him in the face, right? Um, yeah, that's when the gun went off. So, then according to you, he fell on top of you, right? It was kind of on top, but maybe more to the right. I don't know, it wasn't directly on top of me. I was trying to prevent him from getting on top of me. And that's when the memory issue The words. Not just shooting and stabbing, there should be traces, yeah. Right. A guy that just got his fucking face shot, really? And there's not that much for remnants? Actually, man, the way you describe that, it's impossible for the killing to have happened in that manner, isn't it? Is there an argument? No. That's just according to you. You'll notice that Jody evades the majority of the questions in this next segment. She starts to realize the argument put forward is making complete sense and will at all costs avoid saying yes to most of the points laid out for her. It's as though she knows a fundamental part of her storyline is about to be exposed. We know that there's some action that is going on at 5.30. Yeah, he is filleting 14, her right now. Right? So We're getting a right? fucking rotisserie yes. on the stand. We also know that Exhibit 162 okay. is 532.16, which is a minute and two seconds later, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. So you've now shot him. You've told us that the fog is rolling in and that you have no memory. You still don't know where the knife is, do you? I don't remember a lot from that period. It could be. Right. But you told us before that period even that you didn't know where the knife was. Do you remember just telling me that? Uh, today, as I sit here, I don't remember where the knife was. On June 4th, I might have remembered where it was. Do you remember a cross-examination? She I doesn't. asked you if you knew where the knife was on June 4th, and you said no. I Speaking of rotisserie, chicken, paprika. Ooh, that sounds fucking great, man. I don't remember where the mm. knife was. And so as you shot Mr. Alexander, God. you, by necessity, then have to go look for the knife, don't you? Right. I don't know the answer to that. Well, yes, you do! You didn't have the knife in your hand when you shot him. That's, did, did you? The stain. Did you have the knife in your hand when you shot him? Same question. Overruled. No, I did not. So, that means that if you didn't have the knife in your hand, you needed to go get it from somewhere, right? Right. I, I don't know. No, 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 there's no guessing here now. Uh -uh. If you didn't have it in your hand and you just shot him and you rolled away, right? Objection, argumentative. State. You do then agree that. Argumentative, you, sorry. You argumentative. 
He's asking too many good questions, argumentative. It would take time for you to go find that knife, wouldn't it? Argumentative. Argumentative. <laughs> Had the, exactly. It was a bayonet, obviously. A world. I don't know. I don't know where the knife was. That would have been a good right. cover up, Bacon. Since you didn't know where the knife was, it would take time to go find it, irrespective of where it was, wouldn't it? Um, I guess under that theory? Sure, under that theory. It would take time, right? Yeah, I guess. Dude! And what you're telling us, under your scenario, I guess. is that in six I don't know. seconds, maybe. You get yeah, that sounds right. Land? Possibly. I guess so. Do whatever you do, but you get away. Why she sound you like run that? Let's just say state when the attorneys of a convicted murderer are better than those. Some Amber well, turd, seriously. You go in the closet, you grab a gun, you back up, you shoot Mr. Alexander, he goes down, he's still pawing at you and saying, fucking kill you, bitch. And then after you're able to kill he, he you know he wanted to say that. You go get the knife, and he ends up at the end of the hallway, all in 62 seconds. That's what you're telling us? Yeah, it's a fucking lot. No, that's not what I'm saying, and he didn't say- Seven! Hello, hello! He got her ass good? Seriously, like, you gave me a whole fucking- That's at least three episodes in an anime. I can kill you, but- <laughs> That's at least three episodes. Until I got away, and- Pardon? He didn't say fucking kill you bitch until after I got away. You said he said it before I broke away, but he said it right as We love said. saying that. We she love saying that. She just created a non-argument for the purpose of deflecting from the primary contention. Whether or not Travis said those words before or after she broke away has no bearing right. whatsoever on the prosecutor's assertion, which he right. now reiterates. And then you had to go get the knife for everything to occur. Exactly, Jody. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? I don't know what's all the particulars of what's going on this in looks the like picture, the same so picture I can't even say if that's true or not you might be thinking jody has an argument here that perhaps travis was only shot and not stabbed this would have given reason for the blood and contend that jody wouldn't have had to no. be looking for the knife but the medical examiner found little to no bleeding at the site of the bullet trap. <laughs> oh the lord the reason for this is that travis was already dead but there are also medical phenomena that could still prove jody's narrative to be true what she can't prove however is that this blood came from the gunshot that's she another great shot. point too right he got shot it goes down and you describe what? for us that through the left cheek at you through the left cheek like sort of stand up i shouldn't have to get the knife she has a knife a pistol combo biops two exactly right we support the no, big stay hydrated the fog was already there the fog was already there and did you or did you not have the knife with you i did not and you obtained it at some other point when you can't tell us, right? At least your little, like, attorney defense or whatever's color-coordinated. That's kind of cute, I guess. They're matching. That's nice. That Let's be clear, there wasn't anybody else there, right? That's correct. And you like, really odd point, actually. You us Damn. That, right? I believe I did. And when you stood up, he was still on the ground, right? I don't recall looking back. Pardon? I don't recall looking back. So you were... Even though he's still a threat to you, according to you, and he's just threatened your life, you turn your back on the threat? Yeah, I'm trying to get away. This was the time she stated verbatim, the fog was already there. Yet when she feels threatened by a question, <laughs> uh. she all of a sudden has a vivid recollection. The element of the time span between the two photographs goes on for another 45 minutes. Yet the full context of the argument had already been a... Such a good job from the detectives investigating learn only a man could have... Yeah. By this point, and perhaps no, honestly, by they really. Posture throughout the she was really exchange. fucking when bad throughout this whole attack, thing, dude. Like, I'm impressed by how bad she did. They don't know when to stop. Travis Alexander's body was stabbed 27 times. Just some nice tips, you know, in the event of. It may be that Jody Arias didn't know when to stop. Yeah, she's this, fucked, uh, dude. She sucks. Jody and Arias killed Travis Alexander. Totally. And even after stabbing him over and over again, 
27 times. And even after slashing his throat from ear to ear. Ugh. And then even after taking a gun and shooting him in the face. She really needed to make sure that he was we'll dead. Let him rest in peace. Like, so now, instead of a gun, instead of a knife, and she has no idea about the knife. This is an individual who is manipulative. This is an individual who will. Stop. From what could have made her kill to maybe she didn't know when to stop. At nothing. If she would have stopped, maybe something uh, could have fucking and came out of this, you know? Manipulative. And you just should never have opened her mouth on the story. That she has. Everything in this case points to the fact that it did not happen. There are no medical reports. There are no friends. There is no right. one that can come in and say anything about that. There are no medical records. There is absolutely nothing. There is a direct strike to his neck, which is an indication of somebody who was... Oh my god, you! I wouldn't want to have Thank to see you. the fucking autopsy either. Oh my god. He may get away from me in the shower. He may get away from me all the way to the sink. Oh, everybody, and I'm stressed out. Watching everybody's physical reaction stresses me out. I, I'm not even gonna lie. But you know, I caught him. And now, rather than stabbing him anywhere else, Jesus. right here. So it's a very Seriously, well doesn't that sound killed. like a full Another fucking guess? A kill for she real. created a lie that really involves behavior that is a hot button kind of topic. Mm -hmm. How horrific it is to be accused falsely of being a pedophile. He's really hard heading with character destruction photos of the autopsy. This is hammer. Yeah. No, it, to, to show them all that too on top of this entire thing seriously not here he's not here to say no that's not true and so snake goes to the computer and doesn't find anything there oh no no i changed my mind it was actually images first of all her journal indicates that there wasn't such an event second of all the text messages also indicate the same thing and what human being yeah that's a great point. She kept a really thorough little fucking diary of all these events, which could, which must have, I don't know if she was hoping that that would give her a good fucking alibi or what, if but. that is the allegation, if they really are caring, what human being doesn't go to the police and say, or somebody else, this person is a pedophile. Yeah, like this person's a, like a risk and potentially a harm to the others. She does. Well, it's the new approach. It's the new approach to pedophilia. What does she do? Well, let's jump in the sack. Oh my god! What? You're a pedo? Let's, let's fuck then, I guess? Right, yeah, what kind of response is that? And also, how's cold blood murder didn't even show a sign of agitation while looking at the photos of the autopsy, State right? Of Arizona versus Jody Ann Arias, verdict count one. We, the jury, duly impaneled and sworn, and the above entitled action upon our oaths do find the defendant as to count one first degree murder guilty. Five jurors find premeditated, zero find felony murder, seven find both premeditated and felony. Um, yeah. Ago, I'm agreeing. The from the jury. What are you can't be surprised. Um, I think I just went blank. You just went blank again? Just, um... Just... One ear, not the other, hey? I try to think, but nothing happens, I right? I just feel overwhelmed. I you look I good. I just need to... Think? Take it a day at a time. You, um... Did you avoid eye contact with Travis's family while you were in there, or did you make eye contact, and what are your thoughts on that? Um, I typically avoided eye contact. That's a weird question. Travis I guess necessary, maybe? They all sort of look a lot alike, so when I see their faces... Wow, they all look I alike. Travis, Great. And I see the man that abused me, and... Fucking... Okay, I'm not even... We all know. Well, the worst outcome for me would be natural life. 
I would much rather die a lot sooner than later. Longevity runs in my family, and I don't want to spend the rest of my natural life in one place. So you're saying you actually prefer getting the death penalty? Could she get somebody else to kill her? Being in prison for life. Yes. You think? Jody changed her mind about wanting to die. Again, during her plea to save her life, she was sure to mention all the charitable work she decided to take part in after being charged with first-degree murder. Do you think she changed her mind and told him that she didn't want the death penalty as like this weird little fucky reverse psychology to hope that they would then give her the death penalty? Two months before trial, and by that I mean jury selection, my hair was past my waist. I wonder. And I donated it. Additionally, I've designed a t-shirt This is the t-shirt, um, of which 100%- You designed a t-shirt, bitch, you just wrote- You just used a fucking Arial font, okay. Another proceeds. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was expecting at least a picture or something, I'm sorry. Go to support non That's it? You went to fuck- you ironed on some- Organizations, which also okay. assist other- I shouldn't- <laughs> that's too easy for her. Victims of domestic violence. I was such a good person, I cut my hair. We can never get him back. What else did she do that was good? Other victims of domestic violence. Support nonprofit organizations, which also assist other victims of domestic violence. Great. We can never- Get her great, good on her. I think it's the other way around. She said in the universe she wanted the death penalty to try to rule it out, then realized it was a possibility in reverse course. Oh! I feel like I would want the death penalty, though. I feel like that would be a nice thing to happen. We are so grateful eh? for our wonderful brother, and we feel so lucky and blessed for the time we had with Travis. However short-lived, we would give anything to have him back. Anything. Okay. Well, getting old and without distractions or pleasure, she's going to bask in the slow degradation of the right. For real. The right thing, the difficult thing in this case, and it because it's never easy, her duty. The difficult thing to do under these circumstances, the only thing that you can do based on the mitigating circumstances. This whole this whole story to me, honestly, is just so fucking wacky. I can't. Like, I feel like she was asking for bad shit to happen. Why continue to see the dude? Why put up with it? I don't. Is to return a verdict of death. The simple question that be And to be a little bit of a fucking ego, why did she think that his life was worth her being fucking locked in prison? Like, she really thought that he was worth enough that, like, she should kill him? Do you, do you kill her? That's the question. She has done something very bad. She did. And you have convicted her for that. You have. Rip Travis, you made some bad decisions. Follow your dick beyond the light. <laughs> Sayonara. Adios. A first degree murder for that. Sorry, my bro. Is now, do you kill her? State of Arizona versus Joe. I don't know. Arias, sentencing verdict. We the jury Life. duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled action. Yeah. Upon our oaths, unanimous, unanimously find, having considered all of the facts and circumstances, that the defendant should be sentenced. No unanimous, you know, no unanimous agreement. Signed for a person. Is this your true verdict? So say you want to know. Yes. It is ordered. The defendant shall be incarcerated in the Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life with no possibility of parole. Jody Arias is currently housed at the Arizona State Prison Complex. She maintains her innocence to this day. Really. That's crazy to me, actually. That's absolutely insane. Can I spell?
Wow, they have a lot of these fucking trials. What? Yes. Highlights. I love that. GG. Nothing. Nothing. Question. Am I asking you about the evening? No. Somebody else after this particular murder happened, right? Yes. Pardon? I didn't hear your objection. What? I can't. I I feel like this is just a complete fucking mess. But like, even I guess pugs don't swim. Did she murder her dog, bro? Like, it's insane. It's absolutely insane to me. I don't understand. Like, uh, this was a fucking- this was a good one, though. I liked this case. This was a pretty good case. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Seriously. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I am gonna have to find- I'm planning on finding a What's Casey Anthony up to 10 years after Kaylee's disappearance? Oh no. Well, you know what? We'll probably dive into that another time. I do plan on diving down the fucking Casey Anthony rabbit hole, but I think we will save that for tomorrow perhaps. Has dozens of versions since the trial. The only thing that's consistent <laughs> to appear to see delirium lies. Exactly. Oh, jeez. I remember the objection to make these sentences up that they are proven to be guilty for murder. That's my opinion. Would it save people money? Yeah. I mean, that's a hard thing, though, right? Because then you, there's. The death penalty is a whole nother. We could probably dive down the death penalty thing. I have a hard time with it because, like, I can see both sides to it. But I do get why. Oh, you know what? Eileen Warnos was all, would also probably be a fun one to dive into. We might do that, too. All right. Let's say, what are we at? We're almost at three hours. I'll probably wrap it up here then. I probably won't start a new thing, but I'll make some plans for tomorrow's for us to check out. And I will probably be back online around 5, 5.30ish or whatever. A bullet identical to the one in her dead booty coat was found at her home once. I was the most believable. I turned out to be full of shit. No, no restaurant by the name. Margarita will ever exist. It will be. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. Absolutely bonkers, dude. Huh. I'm glad we got through the trial, though. I, I, it took a while, but it did not, the whole trial and her decision did not take at all the path that I thought it was going to. Like, at all. Say for work trial, there was some wild stuff in the court documents. Ooh. Ooh. The fucking, we got a spicy ass trial. Damn. That's a shame. I really wish they would have dove more into the weird shit, but you know what? Maybe that's just me being a DJ. Anyway, the plans will be for tomorrow around the same-ish time. Otherwise, I shall catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Um, And hopefully you get that vodka pasta sauce sometime, dance. Hopefully sooner than later. Anyway, I'll catch ya. Bye. Bye.